This is really the fighter and the kid. Come on, baby. Fresh off the boat or the plane. The Frankie. legend. It's the a legend. legend up in here. Well, this it's it's very late. Bow at down, night. Brian. I am. I will always <laughs> bow down to Frank Yeager. Bet your sweet ass you will. Well, you know, I mean, it it's an impossible career, an impossible business. <laughs> you made it to the top, it. and one of the best to ever do it. Thank you. you. And you're, you're fresh off the plane from Jersey. Fresh off the plane. That's yeah. not a short flight, my man. No, no. We about, appreciate you doing this. Yeah, no. Glad to come out here, kick it with you guys. Now, I yeah. saw I saw a clip, though, before. Was, is it yesterday? Maybe the clip came out yesterday. You're doing, uh, like, WWE wrestling? Yeah, I did, I did oh, it. Oh, uh, shit. Yeah, I did it. It was Saturday night. It was in my my hometown. Uh, one, one of the Tom's River guys did his retirement match. Sting was there. Oh, uh, Jerry the King Lawler was there. Oh, Sergeant cool. Slaughter. Are you yeah. a wrestling fan? Uh, I mean, when I was a kid, yeah, maybe not too. as much now, yeah. you know, but definitely when I was a kid. Now that I'm an adult. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah look, 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 click out there, Chin. There go. Oh, there my God. God. Yeah. There you go. Bro, it was kind of wild because they told me like 20 minutes before this, we talked about what we were going to do. We didn't train it. We didn't drill. We just talked about it. Is it a that little weird it? going from like the real deal to that for you? Uh, I mean, yeah, this was just a joke. Yeah. To me, it's still right physical. Now. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it was cool. Set it up. Ah. <laughs> and this that's that's Nova. He he had his retirement fight. The the big guy. Yeah, yeah. I think back in the day he looked a little different, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is great. Yeah, that's cool. Well, this that, does it does it feel. Mm -hmm. I mean, to be living such a life, right, and we're training that all that the extreme, it's an extreme lifestyle in a lot of ways, right? Well, do you, are you apprehensive now? You, you've retired. You've done everything you could in the sport. It's got to be weird, man. It is weird. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. I mean, I, 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 you know, I wish I could do this forever. Honestly. Yes. I, I, I enjoy training. I like the whole pursuit of, of a goal you know having a you might be doing it since you're a kid you know you're an athlete forever yeah. and you take that you know always trying to improve and get better yeah. and, and and strive for something you take that away it's like damn what am i gonna do but you know i'll find something did you because they and i like the ufc did this on your last fight it was like this is his retirement fight like we knew it was your last one yeah. going in i wasn't crazy about the opponent and i was giving the ufc shit about it and then somebody for your team was like kate hey, Frankie wanted this. That Chris uh, Gutierrez. I I didn't want nothing. They're like I Frankie. Want, Frankie wanted this fight. I'm like, really? <laughs> no, I, that's what we heard. Right? I so told yeah, I told heard. Mark and Ali. I said because they said you know they're trying to pick opponents. I said I don't pick opponents. I never in my career picked opponents. Yeah, I it. said fucking you guys tell me who I'm fighting. I was hoping for like a Dominic Cruz, Cruz, like a, yeah, that's what I wanted. I wanted I Dominic Cruz. I, I thought Dominic great, Cruz would have been, been perfect. Great you know, kind of the trajectory that we both are on. Yeah, yeah. Have you got you guys never fought? No, like a legend fight. Oh, dude. Because like Chris Gutierrez, I'm like, I just don't, even if you beat him, I get last one, Matt Square Garden, that's dope. But it was like, oh, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, hey, way it worked. I, I honestly, I was just happy to get in the car. I got in the car super late, too. That's right. I mean, I knew I was fight. I knew I was going to fight. That that was the date I was, I, I was looking for. But I got in the car like six weeks out, you know. So and is, it was wifey, it like, did you tell her, like, this last camp, like, like Tom yeah. Brady situation? Yeah, last yeah. Season. Yeah, last last one. I, I mean, Honestly, I, I thought I was going to be a guy that was never going to say I'm retired, just going to walk away. But I, I was like, you know, if I don't say it, I'd probably fucking never do it. So I'm kind of yeah. holding myself accountable. Do you have any saying. regrets? Do you, how, like, how do you feel now? Uh, I mean, you know, I, I wish it way different, you know. Yeah. I feel like the last couple of my, my career didn't go the way I wanted to. But, uh. I mean, fuck, what are, what are you going to do? You yeah. Know, sit well, there and I mean, you, about you it. did everything, literally everything you could think of doing. I, 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 I could make the argument, too, that you didn't get the belt, but you, you, that was, some of those decisions were controversial you as fuck. You got the belt? <laughs> well, 55, I got the belt. Yeah, it was a that's right. You got yeah. the belt, 55. I apologize. Hey, 45. The disrespect. Should we edit that out? Yeah, yeah. No, 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 that's disrespect. right. I apologize. I apologize. It's all right. It's all He's right. like, Frankie, I'm sorry you never got the belt. No, 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 no. That's, that's right. So, yeah. so now yeah, you really belt. did do everything yeah, you wanted yeah, to do. Yeah. I just mean at 45, those some of those fights. Yeah, they were close. Were, I mean, they were close. They, they, you know, yeah, you could the, the very, first very one, touch the first and one go. Without those, pretty close. I, That's what I, I, I mean. Right. You but can make the argument that the when Ben Henderson Aldo was, I thought the Ben Henderson fights. I was sitting with your family because that was in my hometown, Broomfield. Yeah, yeah. I was in there. I was with your family. They looked at me like, yeah, does Frankie have him? Like easily. 
Like, yeah, I don't know. I thought I want four. The one you have to bet. I was like, yeah. what? I know. Yeah, dude, That's no. what I'm saying. So I there love so that. many, yeah, there's no. so many of those like that just didn't go your 55, way for whatever yeah. reason because that's the business. Was that at 55? That was. Yeah. Fuck, I thought it was 45. What the fuck? I know that Benson man. Henson fought at 55, but yeah. but um, I remember when I was so high on your year, Rodriguez. I come in all crunk because I was a Taekwondo guy, and I'm like, Taekwondo's here, guys. And Brendan goes, yeah, yeah, I know, I, I, I know, I know, but that's great. But it, it doesn't work against the higher level guys. I go, uh, excuse me, sir. Yeah, it does. That tornado back kick and wheel kick and all this. <laughs> well, stuff. I, tell you, I said there could goes, be a worse fight for and, and at the time. Give, I was like, then they give and you loved Gary. They give him to Frankie, and you go, but don't give him to I was Frankie so mad. <laughs> Edgar. Don't do that. And I, and and I always wanted to know, like, because he was doing some shit that a lot of people weren't doing. He probably thinks that you didn't see in sparring camp. How, how, how was it that you were able to kind of break that shit down right away? Did you just close distance? And yeah, just, Mark. Mark just, just close the gap and get it on him. And, that's uh, it. So yeah. your kicks are no Because well, he, he also yeah. has a super power on his team in Mark Henry. Yeah, yeah. Who I've worked with. I worked for my Crow Cup. I yeah. sure worked with him a lot more. Right. Because he'll analyze the guy and be like, here, here, here. Really? He gets here. Yeah, he's like and a mad scientist. Man. He, mad yeah. scientist. He, to me, you know, he didn't get enough credit. He doesn't yeah. want the credit, but... Yeah. I mean, I you've, think the you've best talked about him before. I've yeah. never seen anything like. Well, he, 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 I've never he seen he's like done him. coaching. Oh, is he done? He's coaching. If he, I'm done. He's got Corey Anderson and Caitlin Chukagian. Uh, oh wow, I love Caitlin. They're both kind of on, on their way out. That's too, true. You know? So he's done. And he also has yeah. the best pizza joint. He man. does it, <laughs> his pizza. Slamming. What's it called? Slampinos. <laughs> Bro, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, first time I met him, he I fucking called me. By the way, oh. he goes. I, I mean, it was too. I got too many texts. He's going. The, the pizza, the dough. Uh, I'm getting like fucking paragraphs about dough. I was like, hey, dude, I'm literally busy. It's a, it's a Saturday. <laughs> it so nice. You're well, obsessed Jersey with Jersey pizza, it. can't beat it. Yeah, right. it was great. And then, the, so Mark Henry, I flew out there to train with uh, Frankie and the boys and really to get with Mark Henry because I thought he was his mastermind. I was at Henzo's and I went to Mark Henry. And then we're in his, uh, he's the nicest guy ever. Yeah, great he family. He and he's like, let's go to the uh, basement. I was yeah. like, okay, this is weird. <laughs> and then I... I he goes, uh, take your shoes off. I take my shoes off. And he's like, just shadow box for me. And then he has seven pages of notes as oh, I'm shadow boxing. Yeah, I was like, whoa. Really? If you uh, listen, he, was he a boxer? He right? boxed, yeah. He boxed amateur. He actually had one one pro fight, and then he kind of, he had like a two-way wire with the heart or something. Yeah, heart, heart, yeah, yeah, so he couldn't couldn't continue. But he was a European champion, uh, Golden Gloves champ, all that stuff. Savage. Yeah. Wow. And then it, he's the one guy that can translate to MMA. So if you listen to Frankie's fights, it's literally like Mark's playing a, a video game. Because you'll well, tell, they have they talk in this code, yeah, their yeah, language, which yeah. and they switch it every time. It's like an NFL offense coordinator with the plays. And he just goes and Frank he, yeah, he, he, he'll, he'll wear, he'll wear like, some, some, like the QB thing. Another level. And he's yeah. so stressed out when you're fighting. Oh, bro. He's, he, dude, yeah. he's well, so stressed. I have you, to tell him on Fridays. I'm like, yo, Friday, I don't want to hear nothing about fighting. Yep. So I shut it down today. Yep. Tomorrow, we'll pick it up. I he's feel like you're, you, you picked up boxing so quickly. Like your footwork, you just looked like a real boxer. Like for a guy who was a wrestler, boxing f looked like it came yeah, it so came natural. I mean, honestly, I, I got to give it to Mark. Mark was my only boxing coach, you know, but uh, I, I just was... Well, I think boxing, you got to be willing to get hit. You know, I was always oh, willing man. to get hit, I think. You know? yeah, was it was, was it Main, Maynard Keynes? Was, who was it? You had a crazy fucking fight back and forth. Maynard. Maynard. Yeah, Maynard. Yeah, Maynard. both yeah. Maynard. Well, I fought him three times. Where he the, hit the you, you rolled back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. It was just goosebumps. Where I think shit. in today's culture, they probably would have stopped the yeah, fight. I agree. But I agree. Agree. Yes. But yeah. when you that train, when you trained, for, was you were coming up, because I know Brendan had this. And I think it's I think it's different now. Correct me if I'm wrong. You guys were, would would get in the ring and bang. I mean, is that yeah, true? Yeah. yeah so guys were getting we, fucking cracked in the head. We just fought pretty hard. Yeah. Just the way to do it. Yeah. Just I, I, do it. Like, yeah. You didn't know any better, right? No, I did. in the beginning, especially. You know, yeah. I mean, and, I used to fight three days a week. Now? Three days a week. Three days a week. Yeah. And and is that different now? Yeah, I, I started going to down to two days a week, but I still spar pretty hard. I mean, you get you, you find good people to go with. Yeah. You know, but, but then he, he but would also, get he would his coach would like hire. A giant kickboxer yeah, and yeah. say, you yeah, knock him out, here's $1,000. We go to boxing gyms. That's usually where, where yeah. you go to a boxing gym and, you know, you're the only white guy in there. <laughs> they're all giving you 30 looks. Yeah, and they don't play. No, they, 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 they hurt the you. Table. They're trying to knock yeah, you out. To you know? out. Oh, yeah. but, you, but also, like, later in your career, too, like, Mark Henry, because he got some notoriety because of your success, 
Then all those other guys started coming there. Like you, who had Marlon Marais, Marlon Marais, Zabit, yeah, Zabit, yeah, Eddie Alvarez, Eddie um, Alvarez. So the whole boys yeah. were there. Dude, but that, and that's who was training. It's in yeah. Barboza. Yeah. Train, yeah. You yeah. trained with Zabit. Yeah, yeah. What happened yeah. to Zabit? You know, I, I honestly, he, he's kind of a quiet dude. So you know, we train. We don't really ha we didn't hang out that much. I yeah. guess you say. But uh, I don't know if he got something happened with a medical issue or, or whatnot. He, he well, he what th this is. And then I, so yeah. he retired, and then. Uh, he was waiting. The UFC wasn't giving like the fights, mm -hmm. so he's like, "This is stupid." So then he's like doing something in the medical field. Yep. He's not a doctor, but he's going to pursue to be a really? doctor. Yeah. He's a really good, smart good for guy. him. Yeah. But I, the beat when he was first coming, he had like a f one fight in the UFC. Mark DM me and was like, "Shab, I'm telling you, dude, Bro. this the beat kid." Is the best I've ever seen. He's gonna be world champion. Everything wrestling. And then since right, then, I was he, like, "Oh, I'll pay attention." He's the, the hardest sparring rounds I've ever had in MMA. Is that right? Oh, everyone yeah. says that. He's like, "I'm telling you, he's, he's six two. Yeah, he's first six of all, two. Yeah, I and mean, yeah. it's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. He looks like the hormone monster. The <laughs> yo, yo, <laughs> that's what he's <laughs> saying. Identical, <laughs> identical <laughs> hormone, <laughs> yeah. the hormone monster. So look at him there. Okay, oh, the hormone shit. monster. That's how old is he? Big 55? Yeah, he, he's younger than me. <laughs> there he is, right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, man, you're so good at those things. Oh yeah. my god, is that? He's oh the my god, dude. Ah, oh, it's funny as shit. But he was such a savage dude. Savage and, uh, he was, man. And Mark was like, I'm telling you, he was like, you know the guys on my camp. The beat dominates. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he like doesn't Abe lose Lincoln. rounds. Look at him, yeah. Abe, Abe Lincoln. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Abe Lincoln. That, that's yeah, that. How did he suck that kind of weight? Was he just super skinny? It's He's definitely weird. skinny. Yeah, I mean, he was fucking big, though. And man. his movement, he was like good at everything. He was yeah, just yeah, I mean, such he, a he, he hits him with the saddle left stretch. Yeah, you know what no, I mean? Like, like it's not. He was a Dagestani wheel kicks. Kicks. too, right? Yeah, Dagestani. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did he come out of uh, Khabib's camp? No, um, he's a Dagestan fighter. Yeah, that's the name of the camp. Yeah, not everyone from Dagestan is out of Khabib. Well, I believe they a good are. Amount are I tend to stare. They're all close. Like though. They're all school, cool. right? Like, like some. Yeah, his, his, his background was different. That's what Mark was telling us. Oh, like, I know where he went. Mark yes. was like, he's, he was like, this yes. kid's different, man. He does a win, win chunt, like, uh, yeah. like his kung fu. Win well, chunt he went to yeah. a school, I believe, where it was like literally a place where you did sports, where you studied fighting, wrestling, but also uh, like everything from literature to science. This, there was magic, a guy yeah. who ran uh, a school for boys. No, I, I, like all these Dagestanis, they come, they they didn't wrestle. They didn't grow up wrestling, but they could wrestle their asses off. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? They just read. Yeah, he's shit. an interesting one because he was like just sick of like the politics with the UFC. And he thought they would give him a fight, didn't give him a fight. Then he was just what, like one day he was like, yeah, I retired. I I'm think he, like, I no. think he does. Like he's, he's a, like super popular where he's at. I think he's yeah. doing all right. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, he was smart, dude. Yeah, he's going to medical school. He posted a picture of him like in a nurse's <laughs> office. He's got horses and shit. Yeah, oh, he's, he's a yeah. Gaylord Fokker, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There he is. Look there's, at him. There's Gaylord. Look at him. Doctors of awesome. the world. Look that's at really him. That's your doctor, career in medicine. Dude. I bet people are like, are you a beef? But from also, the also, a beef. Your hair. You're, you're not a, I don't. <laughs> yeah, are you, you the, know what I mean? Are you the Dagestan? If you're going to be a Unabomber? surgeon. If you're going to be a surgeon, yeah. I don't are want that beard. Right. I don't want that beard hair in my fucking, in my innards. <laughs> I also don't want those hairy arms with the brain. That's a oh, very man, hairy yeah. man. <laughs> Dagestan's yeah. a hairy yeah, they are, If they are, he comes yeah. in, first of all, he looks drunk all the time. I'd be like, <laughs> sir, why don't you have a mustache? And why do you have that much hair on your face? Isn't it crazy though? He just was thinking of the politics. He's like, I'm out. And he's like, top four in the world. I love it. I love it. And we never got the fight. It's kind of a shame. Kind did, of you shame. Ever wanna, a did you ever want to quit or did you always love it? Yeah, I always loved it. You did? Yeah. yeah. Did you, do you ever? Do you animal. think maybe you want to coach? I, I'll coach, yeah. I help guys out now. I mean, I've always been helping guys also out. Also your kiddos. My right? kids, yeah. My, my kids wrestle. Uh, do they want to fight, you think? My middle guy does. He says he does. But I'm kind of like, let's worry about wrestling. Let's worry about getting to college. Yeah. You know, do that. And then we'll take it from there. Did you wrestle he in college, Frank? I did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which, where, where'd you I go? I went to Clarion University. It's a, it's a D1 school in Western PA, but like everything else, D2, so it's kind of a small school. Yeah. Kurt Angle went to my school. Oh, he did? Oh, yeah. oh shit. Yeah. But then also, I, w weren't you guys uh, wrestling at Rutgers too? I was a co I coached at Rutgers for a couple yeah. years, and I, I, tra I, I trained there throughout my sure. whole career. Yeah. The stress factory's down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's right. Great club. Yeah. Fine. Hey, I, I did I did stand up. Oh, we saw a clip summer. of it. Yeah, 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 we brought yeah. it up on the show. Yeah, yeah we saw a clip yeah. of it. I didn't see it. It was good. A little rough. Oh. So, you know, now, now that it's, I mean, dude, I was nervous as hell, you know, but yeah, I, I but did dude, write for, most of the shit. For your first time. I did write most of the shit. For your I, you first know, time. Adam Hunter helped me with some, some of the yeah, stuff. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. And uh, it was cool. It was cool. I did it. Oh, fuck, I, yeah. you know what I got offered? Uh, they had just asked me to uh, do the MMA awards, present an award. Yeah, it is. I totally forgot. I forgot to get back to Adam.
uh, to the guy. Anyway, I'm sorry. I think you're Are you going to be there? Is that the Am thing? I going to be no, there? Frank, you have a no, I'm not going to be there. It's, 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 it's like tomorrow or something. Is it? Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's soon. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know yeah, when yeah. it is. My bad. <laughs> yeah, you're all right. Call and apologize. Um, but stand up. Uh, uh, you had fun doing stand-up? It was fun. It was cool. It was a good experience. I, mean, I don't know. Because they brought up there, like, Frank, you did stand like, oh, that's fucking great. Yeah, I know. It went well. I thought yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. The crowd was MMA, fan, MMA fighters yeah. and fans. Was they were it gracious. there or you just decided? No, I mean, they, the Adam asked me, I'm like, fuck it, I'll try it. You know, I'm, I'm down to try shit that scares me. You know, I don't, I don't know if I'll do it again. Yeah, I don't, the only reason I would do it again is I think I could do it a little bit better. Yeah. But I don't know if I'd do it like, fuck Careful, you guys. Don't do get it. bit by the bug. Yeah, yeah. Were you nervous? Oh, you know what? It's crazy. I always say fighting. Like fighting, I'm 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 nervous in the back. And as soon as you go out there and you're fucking cage, nerves go away. It's like the opposite. As soon as you get on stage, it's like holy fuck, I got the nerves. <laughs> you know yep. I mean? It gets Terrifying. even worse. Yeah. It's not going well. You're like, yeah. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah. Fucking Matt Sarah, Matt Sarah. Matt Sarah. I'm at the Laugh Factory. Matt Matt's a wreck, and he's got to do stand up for that. Looking for a fight. Was it Matt Dana and Dana uh, and Dan Thomas? Yeah, 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 yeah. And yep. so uh, I didn't guys. know that fucking Tony Hensclip had written Dana's jokes, but Dana did a great job with the fucking jokes. I thought he had written them, so I didn't know that. So much. Yeah, yeah, think about it. He did a great yeah. job, but uh, <coughs> but Sarah was Sarah was so nervous, but he got up and he fucking did a great job. He's hilarious. And, period. And you don't need. So you don't need. <laughs> but we get off. He gets off stage and he's so excited. I go to I go to just kind of like you know kind of go good job like that and he's so excited that he goes he just comes over and he meant to kiss me on the cheek but my lips were here and, <laughs> oh, just fucking, no. and he just goes <laughs> uh, and we just fucking <laughs> bub slap dude made fucking out. bub slap made out that Sarah that was great it he's was so great. funny he, he's like a Joey Diaz <laughs> he funny is, where it's yeah. just yeah. like just always it's just yeah, always just on he's just on he is funny he's such a good dude well so. Not if you retired, so then you're out of the USADA pool, right? Like that's <sighs> Done. Not. Told him to beat it. Done with USADA. That's a fucking pain in the ass, man. Beast, right? Why? Yeah. Do you want to go on TRT and shit? No, nah, I don't think I'm ready for that yet. Right. I don't think. I, I mean, eventually. Yeah, no, you have I no interest? I, no, I think eventually. I'm, I'm yeah. going to go get checked. I'm going to check it yeah, out. But I don't feel at. like I need it yet. You know, I'm fucking. Yeah. Still feel like. Uh, yeah. Go Back in the old days, energy. I mean, it wasn't unheard of for. All the fighters to be doing something. Yeah, the TRT oh, yeah. exemption. Oh, yeah, you know yeah. What I mean? Yeah, it was the Wild West. Yeah, but once one you heard one guy at a TRT exemption, like, uh, <laughs> yeah, please. Yeah, and then yeah. they shut that down. Do you think that you saw the stuff is good, or would you would you remove it? I, I mean, I don't know. I think it's it's. I guess it's good. I mean, people. If you're gonna if cheaters, gonna cheat. They're gonna find They'll a way find to cheat. Way, yeah. They're gonna find it's a way. Science, so. So it's, it just it's makes it problem. harder, I guess, for them. But uh, it's a pain in the ass for us, you know. Yeah, like telling these people where we are at all times. Like, the they, they'll wake you up at four a.m., five a.m. Yeah. Day, the, the day before the fight, five a.m. Yeah, that's most of their problems, you know. Yeah. How, how do you feel about uh, Connor? Based, you yeah, know, he's yeah, out of the he, protocol. I, I mean, <laughs> it, they, and he's off seat. Like, obviously, what do he do? Right, he got out of the protocol. I mean, listen, his I, fucking I leg was it. broken half. Yeah, like, I dude, I mean, I get I, it. You I, know, I, I mean, did the same shit. You know, and he did it. He's doing it the right way, kind of. He's Agreed. like, all right, I'm gonna get out of the pool. Not competing. Take the shit. I'm not competing. I'll, I'll come back in. Yeah. You can't blame him unless he gets the special exemption. Oh, he doesn't have to do the six months. That's where it gets dicey. If yeah. they let him fight, like say in February, why like, would they give him that? Because he's Conor McGregor. Yeah, right. And and, and that, that kind of makes sense too. Money, money, money makes the world go around. So they can make exemptions, and they're like, and I, I, I mean, I think the the hardcores would be upset, like MMA media would be upset. Yeah, but the public is like, no. whatever. Well, he's no. such a draw, but but you know. It's interesting to see what will happen. I guess he just has stuff to prove because he hasn't won a fight. In- I, d- I mean, no. I just think he likes he likes to be the center he likes of attention. To be the guy. Yeah, he's yeah. Like, he, he, you he, were he, supposed to fight him. Yeah, oh, we came close a couple times. Big time. Yeah. That'd be an interesting fight. Oh, that'd be great. That'd have been a great. Fight. I, when, yeah. when he fought Mendez, I was I was uh, on the, the line Stand for that by. line. Yeah, huh. for that fight because he fought Mendez because he was supposed to fight Dos Anjos and then yeah. He- Put Mendes in, yeah, yeah. like two weeks. Well, he had a real yeah. problem with your with your wrestling, man. A nightmare. Yeah. His boxing is, you know, his, speed, so his speed, speed would be a problem. Yeah, yeah. Frankie's, Frankie's speed, yeah. yeah, especially back then, a real problem. Yeah, yeah. yeah I would. I mean, that would have been fuck, man. Which, and even uh, later on, he, he said he wanted to fight me too. Like, yeah, a couple years done. after yeah. that, like, but then Dana didn't, didn't go go through with it. Yeah, it's so interesting. Yeah, I, for him, it's like he, he, you know, he wants to be the man. Obviously, fighting's the way he gets that attention. I just think, you know, everyone's like, oh, the money, the money has changed. You know, obviously, if you're sleeping in Gucci satin shit, yeah. it's tough to get up and Fucking do that. Yacht, road, right? Right? Yeah. 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 And when I saw you, I'm like, man, I'll never fight again. But um, 
you know, I just think with his, it's not even, I think everyone has an ego with his ego. He's just like, I gotta, yeah. I can't go out like this. No. Yeah. It's a Which huge part of his identity. And I think he still has a lot of fight left in him. Yeah. I mean, especially like, I feel he like. He wasn't doing bad against us. Exactly. It was, it was, not, yeah. it was bothering him. I, I, it was, but you think he lost his pop? I think it's just tough at the level of success that he has to make the same sacrifices that a guy like, um, like say if he fought Dos Anjos, like mm-hmm. Dos Anjos would make. Even though Dos Anjos is older, like he's still, Dos Anjos he's still he sleeps, about eats, it. and yeah. breathes. Yeah. Like he wants to. He fight. moved back to Brazil to train. Yeah, bro. You know? like, he's yeah. a savage. Yeah. And if you ask Connor to move, you know, he's like, Hell no. maybe. Yeah. I'll get off the yacht. I'll see what right, I can right. do. It's just yeah. a different. The sacrifices are just different. It's, it's, it's interesting to speculate on what would have happened if he hadn't broken his leg against us, and because. I good. think he looked good, but so did Dustin. Yeah. And Dustin, Dustin was kicking that on. fucking low leg. Yeah. Dustin's and, a dog. Too, he's a right? dog, There's but no it's quick. Yeah. And, and he hits like a Mack truck. Yeah. And he was catching him. He was, you, you know, doing, he was catching shots and, and, and answering back with that left hook. Yeah, it sucks his leg went out like that. But, but again, that might have been, I don't know. I mean, sometimes what they say is that when you, when you practice that a lot, so you're checking kicks, you're kicking the bag, what they think is you get these micro fractures yeah, if you're not wonder boy thompson has been doing it forever <sighs> you get these hairline fractures which makes your leg really fucking mm. weak now you kick and somebody checks it right and well i also well, uh, i just seen one go ahead. where, where uh, it was a tie fight and the guy kicked the guy that checked broke his leg yeah. usually it's the other way yeah, around yeah, yeah. Oh, like damn yeah oh. i think with connor too like he t- has long layoffs so like he's chilling 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 then right. it ramps it up for camp mm. where it's like you really your body Beaches has to really be in tune yeah. all the time. Yes. MMA is it's not like boxing where you guys can take a year off and then fight these huge fights. Yeah. MMA, you know, there's, like, there's so much to learn just, still. You in know your mean? body, so like to, the, yeah. the abuse, well, man. You gotta be ready your to go. Head and neck. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the most rugged fighter, I think you could make the argument, who just amazes me, is Nate Diaz. You can kick that motherfucker in the legs five thousand times, you can punch him in the face. He he's like he's kind of rubbery. I think his bones are like green wood. He's just <laughs> rubbery yeah. as yeah. fuck. And you know what I mean though? He takes these fucking kicks and punches and he just never he goes don't check them or nothing either. He refuses to work you know on it. Like just, no, he yeah. doesn't check them. Doesn't do no. wrestling. He's yeah. got skinny legs. He just yeah. Kick. Like, no. yeah. He shows volume, that's <clears> for sure. How, how do you feel about the uh like the the Jake Paul stuff? Uh, I mean you guys quit. We, he's not a he's not a YouTuber no more. He's a fucking boxer. He's been boxing for five five years with yeah. like great trainers. It's like, like all he's yeah. doing, he's a boxer. Like, yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, I'd like to see him fight a boxer now. Yeah, you know. Uh, what, what if he fought Nate? Uh, I, th- I I mean, I think he's too big for Nate. He'd be a problem. I mean, unless Nate could could pepper him and wear, wear him out, like but a, I, I don't know. Volume? Bro, Anderson Silva tried winning that fight. That's like, what I'm saying. Yeah, he, like, he, he, before he, the Anderson yeah. fight, I was like, oh, Jake's give me some trouble against yeah. Anderson. I saw Anderson fight, I'm like. He's outbox him. Yeah. His footwork's good. He's yeah. landing counter shots. He when he dropped him, like this kid's the real yeah. deal, man. He's as far as pop. the level he's at he with six taking fights, shots too. He's a real deal. Yeah, yeah. He's getting he's hit too, and he kept yeah. coming. Yeah. yeah, like he's oh, he wants to do it. Yeah. He, After yeah, that, he, I was like, ooh, that's not gonna be an easy fight for anybody. No. At, and the MMA guys going into that world, especially the older MMA guys, be tough, tough kid. Yeah. He's young too. Yeah, man. yeah. He's twenty six. Yeah, it's nuts. He doesn't have all the wear. But yeah, I mean, he wants to be a boxer, right? So he's got to fight a boxer soon, all right? I just don't. The, it's tough, right? Because so if I'm Jake, and my toughest competition ever is Anderson Silva, it's my lowest pay per view numbers, dude. Mm-hmm. Fuck the MMA media. Quit. Who cares about validation from the fight fans? Like, keep fighting KSI, the YouTubers. Yeah, like, yeah, fuck right, it. Right, if you're right, gonna yeah, pay forty true. mil, why keep fighting these tough guys? So you know, he has six fights. And everyone's like, fight a boxer. It's like. Well, who's he gonna fight though? Like people, are like, I'd love to see him against Canelo. It's like, are you out of your mind? No, I know. Yeah, no, six t- fights. Tommy Fury. Yeah, that's the vibe. I fight. think you start just. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, start. Did, just did, did, yeah. Did, I mean, Canelo would. Uh, oh, what, what about fight. Andrew Tate though? Is it? Is you see that they square that off him and Andrew? Tate I like that one because Tate, you know, world champion kickboxing. Yeah, 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 but yeah. not a boxer, and there's a big difference. Yeah, it's true. But that's still the thing world too. Like, yeah. That's the thing too about Andrew Silva. Like, what's Andrew Silva great at? Kicks and knees and elbows. Yeah. Couldn't do none yeah. of that. I know. True. It's a different distance. Everything. That that would be interesting. He's a big boy. Yeah, too, he's Andrew a big Tate. boy. He's not small. But uh, it's just fat. Who would have called it? If it? You know, 
What's he eight walk years around? Going to find pounds? someone's like, hey, you ever seen Logan Paul? His Bro, little brother. I, I, my, my kids, when they were like fucking eight, seven and eight, we got tickets to, to see Jake Paul. Went to the Starland Ballroom. And, uh, what was he doing? Like a performance? Like, yeah, he was rapping, rapping and shit. Oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> and the security guard came up. like, oh, you want your kids? You know, he recognized me. Your kids want to meet him? I'm yeah. like, yeah, fuck him up there. He's like, he's like, Frank Yeager, what's up, bro? He used to cool? watch your videos. Yeah, he was actually mad cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah, my, my, even my kid, you know, because his old YouTube videos still pop up. And Tiger, dad, do you know him? I'm like, yeah, I know him. He's your friend. I'm like, we're cool. Do you talk to me? You have to talk to me. Hey, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, man, he's a YouTuber. Be cool, dude. <laughs> You know, it's just like the kids' celebrities now are just different. Yeah. Just different. 100%. And for your kids, like, to, to get into fighting your dad's Frank Yeager, it's like, yeah. I guess you want to do it, dude. Like, my son says he wants to fight. I'm like, dude, nobody. It's, 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 it's tough, tough for it's you, tough. dude. That's what I tell you, you know. My, my, my one, he's, he's, and he wrestles fucking six days a week. You know, he, he's, he all, he's all in. He's all in wrestling. How old is he? He's 12. He's 12. Um, my 14 year old, he wrestled. He, he actually, fo football got him into wrestling again. Take that. So uh, he he just started playing football two years ago and it just turned him out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now he's all in on getting better at football. And I told his coach, Tom wrestling helps you get better at football. So yep. he's, now he wants to wrestle again. Uh, I'm yeah. like, all right, awesome. Better for his head. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Do you think about CT and shit like that? Everybody does now, right? I do, man. You know, <laughs> so many people talk about it. You can't help, you know, yeah. you, you, people. And the, what's scary, what I just heard is like, you know, cause I, I feel like I'm fine now, you know, but it fucking comes on later. Uh, it yeah, comes on later, you know? Yeah, it hits you in the later round. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's yeah. like, it's I know. Not, like, there's some guys which is such a bummer where you see it like it while they're in the UFC. Right, right, yeah. But then some guys, you know, I won't mention names where, you know, they come on my show. I'm like, oh shit, it's, it came, somebody want to tell him? Later, like, yeah, it's, he's drooling. Yeah. Like, does somebody yeah, want to tell yeah, him? Yeah. You know, it's like, well, it's you see bummer. guys like, I mean, whenever you, you see these boxers like uh, Tommy Hearns and stuff. Mm, and, yeah. Dude, it's like, I mean, th those guys were taking so much damage, though. Yeah. I think yeah. boxing's different. No, nah, yeah, it? it's, it's constant <clears throat> headshots. None of it's constant good. headshots. No, no. And they start them very young, too. Yeah. yeah. Really That's young. the thing. When so you're like young seven, young. eight, yeah. the, I, you watch these kids spar when they're seven and eight. They, 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 what, what do you think about like these fighters now, like coming up at seven? Like this guy fucking got in the UFC, 17, I 18. Know. Look at his 19, face. Yeah. Look at his face. Yeah. Like he's got his nose is already. I, 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 look at Aaron Pico. Yeah. Like he'd been boxing since he was literally mm. nine. He was wrestling boxing on the international wrestling. circuit yeah. at 16. And he's oh, a freak, but at the same time, I have to believe that, you know, when when you take that much damage to your head, you you, it you will get a glass jaw. What happens is your your brain shuts off. You mm. get touched. Your brain's like, I've been here way, way too be, many times. But B, the majority of them don't though. Maybe not. They don't. They, you know what I'm saying? Like the majority I mean, of this kid, that kid, you know, he's mm. 17. Yeah, but that's crazy. There's a face uh, of a Spanish Now warrior. that, now all due respect. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like that, old that, school, he, like yeah. 16th century <clears throat> Spanish He may have warrior. had a cleft yeah, yeah. palate. So that may be what we're seeing. So sometimes <clears throat> when, a, when a child has a cleft palate, mm. they, they, there's a little bit of a, you see that different. I, I think I'm right about that, you know. So it may also be the way his face is. So, you know, that may not be, but I, but it looks like that's that face, it looks like he's done a lot of boxing and his face yeah. is, his nose and is His nose is pretty of, flat, yeah. Yeah, and that's 17. But you wonder like uh Will you get in this this young? Will guys fight as long? Because I mean, typically guys got into UFC after college, most percent right? You know, yeah. and then they fight for a longer time. Yeah. I think you get in here. I don't know if you're gonna have the longest career. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. How lo the longevity say. when yeah. you start that young? But then yeah, again, look at Dustin Poirier. He was fighting since he was 17. Yeah, yeah. He's you know, Charles yeah. Oliveira was fighting since 21 yeah, in the UFC. Yeah, yeah, yeah before, right. Although this, this kid's even, even Max already too, arrived at 17, which means he's been fighting for a long time, mm. right? No, he doesn't have that many fights, Jim. Bring him up. Mm -hmm. he's, he's, he's young. Experience-wise, he's young. So. Corey Sandhagen was, has been fighting since he was 13, I think. No, uh, he came to the gym at 17. Okay. Uh, no, I think it was 16. I think uh, Christian Allen found him at, I think, 16. I was How young can you I fight in, in the yeah. U.S., though? He, he, yeah, he started at 17 and then was only doing kickboxing. So he only has six fights. Oh, okay. Mm. So he, he started fighting. <clears throat> well, amateur, two fights. 20, 20. Amateur in twenty in twenty one, so you know mm -hmm. he's he's new new. Yeah, yeah. He don't have all the wear and tear. He's, on. He's a but to Frankie's just, point, you just yeah. got one. If you start at seventeen, which this kid is, when he's <clears throat> twenty five, if and he's fighting the UFC. Yeah. The other thing, I think I know the UFC is the goal and stuff like that. Yes, he has skill, but you're gonna be fighting grown men. Yeah. You know, right, like dudes right. who are trying to put food on the table. I, for the I, kids. Should, I hope they got to bring them up right. You know. Yeah, but what, it's what? tough. Like like uh, Ed Suarez always said it best. He's like, I tell my guys like, don't come to the UFC unless you're ready to face anybody they offer yeah, you, and yeah. you can find God. a way to win.
Yeah. Whether it's yeah, number it's one yep. or number 30, you better be ready to go because you never know who you're going to get. You're right. And the UFC isn't a league where they give you warm-up fights. No, no. Like, it's just no not way. what they do. No. When did you kind of – did it dawn on you that you could be great at this sport? Uh, I mean, when I, when I – uh, probably when I got into UFC, first fight in UFC. Really? Yeah. First fight. Yeah. You just felt it. Yeah. You felt at home? What was it? Well, I, I mean, I just know when I walk, I, I got to call up uh, – I was, I tried for the Ultimate Fighter show. I didn't get caught. Didn't make it. I thought I was gonna make it too. What I, season is that? Season five. Five. The yeah, first, like first uh, the fir first the first fifty fiver. Look at that record. season. Look at that shit. And uh, I, uh, yeah, when I, I I called up to fight that, and I remember walking in there, and I'm like, yeah, I, I, I was like, you know, I wasn't supposed to win. So yeah. I'm like, fuck. I'm like, I, I'm like, I know I'm not supposed to win. I was like, but they if they been that Sean Shark was the champion at the time. I was He's like, if they call me to fight Sean Shark, I was like, I'm fucking coming yes, here to fucking win. Yeah, you know, that two half. You fought Charles Oliveira. Yeah. Yeah, beat him. B BJ Penn, twice ever heard of him. Sean Shirk, ever heard of him. So Hermes nice. Franca, <laughs> ever heard of him. Spencer Fisher, interesting. Tyson Griffin, Jim Miller. It's fucking Jim nuts. Miller actually was uh, in Jersey. That was my last fight on a, a regional scene before I made it to UFC. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. That's a tough regional yeah, fight. Yeah, yeah. Cub Swanson. He kicked a piece Cubs of my ear off, off my head. Really? Yeah. Jesus Christ. What happened? A piece of my cauliflower flew off my ear oh, and during a fight. God, look, look at that. this. Look, look at, at this run, though. Charles Oliveira, BJ Penn, Cub Swanson, Your Ryan Favorite, favorite Chad, Chad Mendes. Mendes. That's insane. And that Jose Aldo fight was fucking close. I mean. He fought him twice. Wow. Yeah. Wow. He fought the who's who. I mean, first ballot Hall of everybody, Famer. Everybody, everybody. And now, also for you, I think you're in a definitely a different position position two to retire because i mean you have plans right like you're already doing a pod you've been doing a podcast yeah i've been a doing a podcast uh champ in the tramp for almost three years now and how'd you link up with homeboy he he, he lives in tom's river he's actually from maine originally roger matthews he's my, my co-host he's from jersey shore fame he used to be jay wow's husband oh, okay. ex-husband now they have, they have, kiddos together, they have two right? kids together yeah um but yeah he moved down to to jersey back when he was like 20 we were, we were friends before we even met uh met Jay Wow and uh he just became he's like a big fight fan that's how we met and then I used to teach like a like an informal you know jiu jitsu Could class. Could he be any more Jersey? Oh. Holy shit! Do you think he regrets <laughs> that affliction shirt? Uh, he no, might. no, he that's did. a temp. No, no. That, no. Dude, you said no. You're from Aurora. That's that's so Jersey. You get your fit. You can get your hands manicured. No, he you looks get like your a mascot. Face. You know what's funny? Is he used to be such a skinny. He was like skinny, the skinny dude, yeah. right from Maine. He's six four. He's a fucking oh, big damn. guy. Oh, you know, shit. skinny. He fuck came down to Jersey. Now. Seen all seen all the meatheads and all the girls. Oh, boy. So that's when he started. You know. He said, let's get into this. Let's started, you know him. what, yeah. Frankie, what yeah. are you implying? <laughs> you know. He just started eating and lifting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He did you know kettlebells. Right. <laughs> and does he, he, does he kettle on your pod, does he talk about the Jersey Shore days? Like, he must have been insane. He does, yeah. He does a little that bit. The show was yeah. insane. That's a big boy. Yeah, he's a he's, he's big boy. Yeah, the show was, I mean, just game changer, man. It was just nuts. It was, and it's still, it's still right. It's still like the I most popular show on MTV. Is it really? Well, MTV There's, is not yeah. really much on there. Yeah, but like Teen Mom. Yeah. And like Ridiculousness, right? That's right. Yeah, Ridiculousness, yeah, their yeah, flagship. Yeah yeah. yeah. yeah, but he was on there. It was like the height of it, man. Yeah, oh, dude. It was like the Seaside. Situation. Seaside, where I live, was crazy. It was bananas every summer because it, it is Jersey Shore. Because Jersey Shore. Yeah. yeah. It's oh, a yeah. great time in the summer, though. I used to go down there. What a great time. Oh, Jersey Shore. Fucking the best. And by the way, I knew I'd been in L.A. for too long. I was hanging out with my friends, all New Yorkers and, and from Jersey. And I'd been in L.A. for, I don't know, a year nonstop. And we're down on the shore. And uh, we're at a bar. And girls are just talking to us. And I'm such a piece of shit because I've been in L.A. And I'm going like this. I'm going, fuck, what's the agenda? Like, who, who do they recognize here? Like, what, you know. I, I couldn't understand why they were talking to us because girls don't talk to you in LA unless there's an agenda. Yeah, yeah, everybody yeah. has an agenda, men and women. It's all a fucking contract. And they were just human beings yeah. saying <laughs> hi. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, I've been fucked up for too long. And you, you just love Jersey. You never leave? Uh, I mean, I don't say I'll never leave because you never know what can happen. But, but yeah, I'm, I'm into it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Far. my whole family's there, you know. Is, and do you still work with the UFC on the UFC gym? I do. Yeah, I don't have my own UFC gym, but I but I'm associated yeah. with a couple of them. Yeah, I remember yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. You talk to Dana at all? I mean, I do. Yeah. You know, he's always good to me. You yeah. know. Yeah. Oh yeah. How could yeah. you not be? Yeah. I mean, blood, sweat, and tears. How could you not? Be? Yeah, you did. You kind of did what's almost impossible. I I, I always said I used to say to Donald Cerrone too. It's like spend that much time in this sport and 
and win that much and stay that relevant and be that much of a draw, that's a, that's a, it's just different. It's really, really difficult and rare. Tough to do. It's all, yeah. And it's also like a guy like him, he always hated fighting. He was like, you know, he secretly wanted to be a comic entertainer and stuff mm. like that because he had to be an athlete his whole life. But for somebody like I'm you, gay, Frank. <laughs> yeah, it's a gay it's man. Coming out. And we, we're in love. And I want to say that in front of Frankie. And I'm a sugar like you baby. Bless us. Um, but um, it just turns into this incredibly gay thing. We're just like, <laughs> fuck it. Yeah. Frankie's like, oh, I gotta go. <laughs> no, Frankie's like, finally. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Cut the, kill the cameras. I don't care anymore. <laughs> But, um, I feel free. Yeah. Well, anyway, I, I had something to say, but it turned Sorry. into a, now it's fine. Turned into gay fest, <laughs> as it always does. Yeah. We've never done we a did. show after uh, we've done how many episodes? Eight hundred. Three thousand. Literally. Three thousand. No, real, probably, like probably eight hundred. Eight, eight, eight fifty one right now. Wow. And that's not wow. counting the ones we did in your garage yeah. and a lot of. We've boxes. never not talked about our dicks. Probably over a thousand. And we've never not been gay. And this weekend, <laughs> I, I sent. Okay, so I took I, the I time. Feel- I took the time to send you. Nothing but I just heard, I, said, I was naked and I go hope you're having a great day, buddy. And, and I just my dick was all it's it hot. Was like small because I had bad service. <laughs> well, no, not my dick. The fucking picture. God damn it, the picture. My, I was very proud of my dick. My wife goes, "Your dick." I go, "Well, I got to send. I got to show my boy what I'm working with." Good dick and I day. Just, and I go, "There you go. Hope you're having a great day, <laughs> buddy." Breathing. Uh, and I said, and I, I, I did a whole thing. And I think it was breathing. It was fucking five minute video. Yeah, it, it was, was all, like all small. Really? Uh, yeah, because my service is bad. And Fuck. I was in Providence. I don't. Man. In the middle of nowhere. I felt vulnerable because I didn't get a fucking response from you. Yeah, me. then Brian, like a day later, goes very quiet. Uh, like, what's up, dude? <laughs> like, where the fuck are you? Yeah. I sent you. A, I took some time. Yeah, I usually respond to that. Anyway, we're trying to come out of the closet. <laughs> Eight hundred. Damn, that's 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 impressive. Yeah, more than that. It has to be near a thousand. Easy. Yeah. yeah. Start doing it literally I in mean, my garage. Yeah, almost eleven years ago, and then also, I mean, and those were the Wild West days. And now YouTube wants to get all. Crazy, crazy. You yeah. say anything anymore about dicks, and they, you know. Brendan was always was the first guy to do stuff like sell merch and kind of like come up with graphics and I, I kind of like in a lot of ways cross market and cross yep. cross pollinate with podcasts. Yep. Rogan wasn't doing that. You were doing that. Yep. 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 People don't realize that everyone there aren't. You are you are so obsessed with kind of like you know the the merch drops. Yep. Where you'd like you'd sell be like out. all right. Post now, and that we'd post, and they're like that sold out, and it was all this stuff, and it worked. It was incredible. That's awesome. Yeah, we're struggling a little bit, you know. Everybody, the pot is. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, we were doing it, whatever. It's, it's well, cool. Whatever. You like doing? You guys do it once a week? Once a week, yeah. It's in my basement. It's not fucking bad. Yeah. He lives right around the block, it was right you know the street, so it's not far. And uh, we kick it. We I mean, honestly, I, I mean, I fell into a lot of good things because of it, though. I met a lot of good people. I was in a movie because of it. Yeah, and that's shit, dope. You know, and you so. guys just bullshit. Yeah, we just bullshit. Kind of like you guys do here. Yeah, yeah. I got bust those balls for being gay all the time. <laughs> you know, maybe that's why we're fucking shadow band. You know? yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's a good reason. Yeah. yeah, they don't they frown upon that. Well, this whole this whole Twitter dump is really really interesting, man. It's fucking this wild, man. It's this, it is. this world. It, it, it's like see. listen, it, whatever it is, it's like if it's a simulation, it's broken. You know what I mean? Because yeah. the, yeah, the simula- craziest this shit is going sucks. on in this world. Yeah. yeah, it's not good. It's really interesting. Yeah, I'm curious because it's just, just more can keep coming out, and the, you see these big corporations were suppressing news. But they're and- also making Elon Musk the boogeyman. It's like, what are you doing? He's he's a guy who creates more jobs than you do, motherfucker. He he pays more in taxes than any than any of you. Your entire newsroom. Yeah, what they the just don't. They just don't like it because they don't. They can't control. He makes them. American cars like you know. Yeah, they hate that he was going to buy Twitter and. and- and, yeah. he really in, and he believes in he believes in free no. fucking speech. Yeah. And no, hate speech has actually not gone up. They, people right. keep saying that. No. There's no evidence to suggest that. But that's and what the left needs like, to rub. Yeah, but the, when, when the media does that, they just keep losing credibility. It's like I don't you believe keep saying the anymore. world's this way, but the rest of us <laughs> know. I don't believe anything. Like, oh, nothing. Like, I, unless I see it with my own eyes, I don't think I believe it. But that's I don't know if I believe either. anything in the past either. Now, now oh, that we know what's I going on, we know what the world is. I'm full tin foil hat. Yeah. Nancy but that's Pelosi's not good either. Not yeah, we, we have Bryce Smith on the podcast. Oh, you have Bryce on? Yeah. That definitely got you flat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've had him on. That's a little move. Yeah, yeah. He's all flat yeah. earther and stuff. Well, that's uh, what he's talking about, crazy. flat earth yeah, with, yeah, with you? Yeah, yeah. And was this before? Because he challenged Rogan. This is right after he challenged Rogan. Oh, really? Where did he yeah, study yeah. astrophysics? And, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 well, I'll tell you. I mean, hmm. my reasons why I think the world is round 
are not that good. Are not that good. I mean, it's the entire, it's it's the entire, to argue. Yeah, yeah. The entire scientific community that, that, will that, tell you that that's the world's why, round. That's why. Or, or that's, because Bryce Mitchell, Mitchell who's an <laughs> MMA fighter and, no, uh, and, and I, 23 years old, has decided, contrary to everyone else in the <laughs> right, science right. world. I'm with you. I'm, I'm a round earther, all right? I'm with you. But and I, my thing is like the sun's round, the fucking moon's round. You can see Mars in a telescope. Yeah. It's round. Why would ain't, why it's would why would we be flat? There are really yeah. simple ways. There's also there's like some, experiments you could do, right? Uh, yeah. Just a couple. Yeah. Have you have, have, you, ever, have you ever seen that? You know how we through? fly? Hold on. You know we you know you know fly patterns? Yeah, yeah. We yeah. take into account the curvature of the Earth. That's what I say. That's I, why we yeah. fly over the Arctic. But I don't snipers have to take the curvature of the Earth. I had I had right. David yeah. Weiss yeah. who was on. I he's a flat earther like the. And he had all these little experiments. Then a scientist brought him on. It was so fun, though, because he was beating me in the argument. It was great. Like, the part of the thing was he was so ready with his diagrams, and I got crushed in the argument. That's all they do, fun. though. But that's, but that's all they do. But that's fun. Yeah, I liked yeah. it, and it was part of the entertainment. But don't get it twisted. And I said, so explain to me how flight patterns, because I have friends that are pilots, you take into account the curvature of the earth and your flight patterns are that way. And he goes, a lot of pilots are speaking out now. I go, Really? And there's an ice, there's an ice shelf around. Ice, is that, that where is that ice shelf? And what's beyond the ice shelf? And he goes, we don't know. We don't. Well, that doesn't work. This for is me, very so. interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, the whole thing. Was no, there, so there's nuts. a flat earther on. Uh, he got made world star. What I mean, months ago. And he's like, I'm going to prove that the Earth is flat. And he set up this thing. He's like, you can tell when the sun it only goes up and down or something like. That. So he sets this whole thing up. He's explaining it. And then the the sun comes up, and you can see like the horizon; it's rounded. Mm -hmm. And he goes, "Ah, oh, shit!" <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> he, like, I got this whole presentation. Well, they, I, we, we, I just hear, "Ah, oh, shit!" Yeah, we asked David Wise about the laser, and he just did sidesteps because they did an experiment where you can shoot a laser straight for a long distance, and if you have everything on the same side, it'll you, it yeah. And he was like, "Yeah, that day he went. It didn't. That didn't work. That was a." <laughs> I was like, "Okay." So. Bryce says the sun and the moon are the same size. And well, they're, they're he should Bryce they're Bryce counter, should counterparts. Yeah, Bryce should uh -huh. Bryce should speak to a real scientist and educate himself a little bit. Or go to speak to a physicist or not. What they do though is they say all of them are liars, and NASA yeah, yeah, yeah. is all liars. NASA, by the way. Well, this is true though. What's that? NASA's that, not. Too. No, the, no. Well, well yeah, well, those are right? facts. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, the whole any picture of the world is not real. That's CGI'd. Any whole picture of the world. Yeah, I've heard that. That's but then not this, true but the, like, I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm I've heard that. World. That's I'm team not round true world. I'm team round. I'm team <laughs> round. Just saying. Yeah. But like, yo, when they're in the, uh, <laughs> the, 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 the space, international space station, yeah. and these astronauts, you could go to fucking Instagram probably. Yeah. Take they take pictures from from that. You can see the curvature of the Earth. Yes, yeah. you can. Yeah. I feel like you know. Yes, you no, can. No, we're yeah. we're team round yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's horror. Yeah, it is it's interesting. Just, yeah. it's, it's just tough because let's say you are a flat earther and then you see what the media is doing with the Hunter Biden stuff and like suppressing that right, right. or other things. Like now we find out Christopher Columbus didn't discover America, but we grew up in the literature that you were reading all these books on Christopher Columbus. Now he's out. Well, Christopher so it's Columbus, like, is it's a, it's a controversial thing to say he discovered yes, America. That's but what that's what we yeah, were but The whole Christopher kids. Columbus thing, listen, like he was a good guy, was not a good guy. Like, yo, this guy got on a fucking boat. Which trying to sail to China? He had to be crazy, crazy ass hell. Wild boy. No, you wild, know what I mean? He's a wild boy. But you know, you find out like all this stuff. You can't really believe it, or you know, with chopping down the the apple tree with George White. Like you find out all this stuff, right? Right. And, and the, so, so then all they go is, well, if and th this is what gives them credit. They go, well, if that's not true, this isn't true. It's like, well, no, can't be all fake. Across I, the I, I always equate it to this. If if I went up to Bryce Mitchell and yourself and you and I said, hey, guys, I know you do this MMA shit, okay? I can show you right now video of people flying through the air, flying and doing sidekicks. It's called Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. That shit is based on real stuff. And I was dead serious, and I showed you video of Shaolin monks doing all kinds of crazy shit, including Aikido experts throwing you with yeah. with waves. I would believe. And you guys would go, "Hey, you don't fight, fuckface. <laughs> you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Come to my gym and see what happens." The problem is that people who are flat earthers are not going to NASA. Mm -hmm. They're not around scientists. They would very quickly realize that with simple experiments, they would change their mind immediately with simple experiments. I'm not even looking at the sky. There are just certain simple experiments. There are certain scientific principles that, by the way, 
all the technology you use in this phone is based on the same principles. So we, we benefit, guys, all of us benefit from the science in this microphone, in this, in that TV, that pushes you beyond your biology when you get an x-ray, when, when you have staff and you have to take antibiotics. That is part of the same scientific tradition, the same empirical, measurable process that will also prove to you that gravity's real, the earth is round, it's moving at 2,000 miles an hour, and all those things. You don't got to convince me. I know. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying is like, you know, you've got to be a little bit more consistent. These, some, some, but but, but also young. sometimes cons young. the conspiracies are better than the truth. They're a lot that's of why it's yeah. fun for them. They're right? a lot of fun. To like go against the good grain. good to talk about them. Oh, right? They're but so fun. They're yeah, so yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah. And, and some, some of them are true. Some of them are true. Yeah, that's, yeah. Where, that's where some. you're like, okay. Even, That's yeah. what makes every conspiracy kind of interesting. Well, we all knew that one Twitter. We all yeah. knew there was some shit going on at Twitter, right? We all know that if you if you are middle of the road, right of center, or if you just believe in the Constitution, you can, there's a good chance you if you are asking asking questions about COVID, just asking. You'd get censored. Well, forget Twitter. Yeah. I mean, yeah, of course, Twitter, YouTube, all Instagram, it. all Facebook. Yeah. It, it's all owned by the same or. It's run by people of a specific yes. ideological. Well, be careful, bent. be don't don't Kanye yourself now. I know. No, I'm careful. I know. No, no, I'm not saying I'm not saying Jews. What the fuck? No, I'm saying it's it's a it's a group of people that come from the same educational system, same area code, same. Yeah, right. You know, they all it's the people in newsrooms, academia, Hollywood. They're all the the, the, the people are all kind of like the in crowd. Yeah. Yeah. Soft. But you see, like the the news where they're saying the same exact shit across like it's all incredible. national news, it's like incredible. literally the same line. Well, it's like no wonder some people think the Earth is flat. Yeah, right. You know, right like you look yeah. at that, you're like, this is insane. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I don't mean to pick on Bryce Mitchell. You know, I, he's he's just a he's just the most visible. He's fighting player. this weekend too, I think. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's a killer. Yeah. He is, bro. He's what's good, your man. what's your take on on him? What's where's he's got his work cut out for him, like anybody in that weight class? But yeah, I mean, it's a tough weight, but I mean, but he did the Edson, man. That was impressive to me. Super impressive, stud, especially on the feet. Yeah, you know, he was pieced up and he was yeah. doing his thing. He started yeah. wrestling. He was a wrestler, like as a wrestler. I right? think so, but yeah, yeah he, he mixes it up pretty well. You a fan of Patty Pimlet? I he's just fun, you know. He's, he's fun, so fun. fun. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know I know Jared Gordon pretty well too, so he uh, he's a New York guy. And, who, and, who do you have in these fights? Can and you, for you say? and for uh, Patty, think you know with him, he obviously he's super famous. <clears throat> he's so famous in uh, Europe. Oh yeah, so fucking oh, yeah. famous. His is manager he, saying he's bigger than Conor. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, I think the UFC is doing right by him with like the way they're sl kind of slowly building him up because right. the guy this, underneath them they. Push too fast. Yeah, yeah, too. right, right. With Woodley, Just, right. Jaron Gordon's not a bit is, is tough fight for pretty him. tough. He yeah. can grapple and stuff. He can wrestle a little Dude, bit. I mean, he's a he's a brown belt under yeah. John Danaher. Yeah, like, yeah. a yep. brown belt under John's Christ. a black belt yeah, in most absolutely. places. Like, Watch your ankles. <laughs> so for yeah. so for Patty, you know, he's not gonna have a huge advantage on the ground. But I don't know. There's something special about Patty when you're around. I'm like oh, this kid got it. He, yeah, he, but it's not he, an easy fight. No. No. Not an easy fight for Darren Till. He's, he's a big 55er, too. Yeah. And Gordon's not that big, I don't think. Oh, yeah? He's kind of a little bit smaller. For Till, too, it's like, this ain't no welcome home party. Like that Duplessis is a I, I, I can't remember. He's a, he a former champion in other uh, leagues. Like he, he's, he's a problem. Is he a striker, man? Um, he, oh, Jesus. Yeah. Oh, okay. He, yeah, he, his, yeah. his submissions are good. He was the EFC uh, champion. He was a KSW champion. Like. Hmm. He's chomping at the bit for yeah. this fight. Like this is the fight. Where is he won. from? Uh, is he a uh, Polish? What is he? South African? Oh, South African. Yeah, South, South African. African. Yeah. Like he's a, he is no punk. Middle and Walter. And Darren Till's coming off an injury, right? Coming off an injury, hasn't fought since 2019. Wow. Frank, Frank, when you you know you're fighting a guy, let let's say a Dagestani or someone who I'm sorry, has a different kind of wrestling. He hasn't had a win since 2019. Yeah. He fought Derek Brunson, Robert Whitaker, and then mm. uh, his last win against Kelvin Gaston, split mm. decision too in 2019. When when you have a fight with a guy who say is a, a like to say a Dagestani who's coming at you with a different kind of language, like a different kind of wrestling, chain wrestling that you maybe haven't seen with freestyle or, or with you know folk wrestling and stuff. What, do, do you bring guys in? How do you guys solve that problem? Yeah, you try to bring guys to emulate guys yeah. early in my career i used to bring guys in all the time i, I mean i had geishi uh poirier rda um 
Yeah. Evan Dunham. I, then, I, then Edson Barboza I brought. Like, All bigger than you yeah. then once, yeah. once they, they kind of came, once they came, I didn't need to bring, I had Edson, Marlon, Eddie. So I didn't have to bring you guys in. But yeah, you got to bring people in. You didn't suck weight a lot, the way a lot of guys did. At 55, I, didn't not, I mean, I probably was. I remember my first fight in UFC on the way to Wayne's. I stopped and got a cheesesteak so I wouldn't be that small. <laughs> oh, damn. Uh, yeah. God damn. Yeah. You felt good. That's such <laughs> confidence, though. Yeah. How that? That's a lot of confidence. I mean, there was no other weight to fight. 55 yeah, was the lightest weight. Was around, so. Fuck, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah, now that 45, 35. No. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 25. 25. Yeah, it came later, yeah. Yeah, it's the small guys. They're doing the damn thing. You know, the UFC's popping, man. Maybe they had what, what twenty seven uh, uh, sold out events in a row or something like that. That's Nuts. crazy. Endeavor just just did like thirty eight percent increase in in their profits in, in the fourth quarter. Or something they like make that. they're not off live shows. That's their yeah, biggest. They, they said they their biggest thing, thing is, is ESPN or UFC and uh, PBR. I guess yeah, PBR. Yeah, yeah they own PBR. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, they just took over the because they. I remember that that four billion dollar note was a, a big note to carry. People were like they're gonna never be able to do it, but but now now it's worth it. more. Crush now. It. Yeah, crush oh, it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Crush it. It's a world. It's a true worldwide sport. We've watched yeah. it become a. Yeah. When you walk around, have you gone to other countries where you just get? You yeah, must get recognized. Yeah, no, it's definitely time. definitely do. I was in Germany uh, two weeks ago. They, they, for a UFC gym opening out there. Oh, really? Their fan base is not as big as other places. Well, but they haven't really had any German yeah, chance. Yeah, that's what, that's what you need a German yeah. fighter. You know? have, who's the most famous person you've been recognized by? Oh, I don't, I don't know. Shit. I remember I was, I mean, I met Kevin James once. Like, oh, he's, yeah. he's like, oh, shit, I'm a fan. I'm like, you're a fan. I'm a fan. You know? Yeah, because there are a lot I of. You like, say Jake Paul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. There are a lot of movies. There's like actors that love fighters. So I feel like. Yeah. yeah. Mickey Rourke, he, oh, he yeah? used to be up sometimes. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, he's cool. That's my, that's <laughs> yeah, he's, my generation. He's a different dude. He is, yeah, he is. Now, yeah. That's he my is. generation. He got his lids done. He got his lids done. And some. And he got some other stuff done. <laughs> his lids, yeah. his, by lids, I mean well, his entire face. they were saying, like, <laughs> Rogan was talking about him like, when he did The Wrestler. Like, How'd you get muscular? He goes, muscular like that. He goes, I took everything. I was taking all the drugs. <laughs> yeah. And it's yeah. like, oh, shit. He's but his character was, too. good in that movie? Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. Sam Trilby said he goes, he goes, any comic who's done the road, that movie depresses you. Because he's like in these <coughs> shitty oh, towns. Man. I love that movie. Bro, I, tell you, I, I, went, I was at this wrestling event. It wasn't WWE, you know? And I always just say, I, like, if I go do signings, I'm like, man, what the fuck? You'll see fans like WWE fans. What the hell? No, we're not. Our no, fans are, are are even better. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There's levels. Oh yeah. man, there's levels. Oh, yeah. There's levels. That's a, that's oh, bro, a very strange. If, if you've ever gone to Monster is. Jam, it's like they did a call and like, "Hey, ugliest people in Southern <laughs> California, come to Monster Jam." Yeah, not a lot. I of saw like Confederate there. flags and oh, Trump dude. hats. Just you know, just yeah. beer and fucking. Florida is like that. Like you can if you, you can go to like Miami, you can go to Naples, but if you step outside, something if you go like. 30 minutes that way sometimes. Inbreds. You're like, what Inbreds. the fuck yeah. is going on <laughs> yeah. here? It's like Alligator Central. Yeah, hottest girl has three teeth. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, <laughs> oh, yeah. It gets weird in Florida. I broke up a fight uh, when I was in Florida, actually. I in Naples? Say. I mean, I mean, a like. It was two old guys? One girl fighting two girls. And one girl walks by. The, we're, we're sitting here at Virginia, our boy Eric. At, Vir at the restaurant. At Virginia, yeah, fucking the best. So you're sitting there? Yeah, and Eric opens up these crazy wines. We're eating stone sure. cold crab and we're yeah. fucking hanging after the show laughing and it's great. Good time. And this, these two, um, they were, uh, well, her skirt was, well, I could see everything. Her skirt, mm. you know, she was just, she, she'd been, she had some bruises on her legs from from the pole. She was a rough in Naples. Gal. Yes, sir. In that area, correct, sir. But it was late, so they were it's walking. Like, how the riffraff get in? They were old. They're looking for some old guys. Yeah, that's what happens. That's where the money is. Have you been in Naples, like an older town? And uh, uh, Sarasota area. You'd yeah, have you'd have the most color there. So the girl, there's a girl. She's with these two kind of young guys, and she says something like, "Look at these two skanks." Old school. And the girl turns and goes, I'll deep throat your cock right now, motherfucker. I'll deep throat it. That's your girlfriend? <laughs> I'll deep throat your cock. So we're, we're eating and we're like. So she's saying I'll deep throat your cock. Right in front girl? of us right here. And we're like, well, but that's are those, are those, rather aggressive. Are those fighting words? I mean, <laughs> like, well, now the two girls come back because the other girl goes, fuck you. And there's words. So now we're like, oh, that looks like a yeah, your situation. Yeah. yeah. 
Next thing you know, bam, bam, this one girl's fighting two girls, and they're going. And the one girl starts swinging? But the, oh, the, the, girls, I, I, the girls who had said, I'll deep throat your cock, they were the aggressors. They came back. The, yeah, and they they kind of they began to fight. Yeah, this girl. Sluts but with this bruises. girl, yeah, this girl, <laughs> this girl gave it back. And when I tell you she was throwing well, she was going but like throwing like straight punches and catching. You could just Her hear. You could hear. Her. Yeah, like in the face. I, I swear to God, ask Kevin Mac. He was there. There was a she grabbed her and just uppercut. She went. No, she had the girl got her hair pulled and she was she was getting her hair pulled and she went boom. boom and just, Started like Francis like, Ngano uppercut. Yeah, and I'm trying to stop the whole fucking thing. And I, at one point, the, the girl I was holding on to, I go, let go of her fucking hair. And she wouldn't let go of her hair. As I'm kind of like. That's the worst thing about girl fights. Oh, dude, I, I, I can't, hair, I can't hurt anybody. So I'm trying to like get her up by twisting. I'm just like, let go. And my, my other buddy is holding on to the girl's hair so it doesn't get crazy. So was the single girl winning? The single girl. <laughs> So the, the single deep throat, girl was deep, winning. Not only was she, like she the win. The throat twins got beat up. <laughs> she yeah. won. The deep throat twins get pushed. Uh, we pushed them. We go get go go over there. Yeah. And the, the girl who was there goes, "I got your fucking hair. I got your hair in my hands, bitches. I fucked you up." Wow. She was such a now, badass. Now, did she look like a? They all look. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm an old man. They all look pretty good. Yeah. But, they, I mean, but was she was she dressed like she was she a, a civilian? She was oh, a straight up civilian. Normal girl. The other girls were probably. Wow. I don't want to say anything. They're night walkers. And the cops, the cop came over that we all knew, and he just goes, "You walk that way, you walk that way." And that that's was, how that was it. Be. That's, that's how yeah, you yeah, right. But meanwhile, Kevin got kicked in the shin so hard. With the heel. He, yeah, he was like, "Fuck!" Uh, he he literally was like this. Hobbling. Uh, fuck. <laughs> ah, what happened? She fucking kicked me in the shit. I was like, well, that's what you get." God, to how go. aggressive is I? Will deep throat you your talk? But you, I'd be like, "I haven't seen a girl fight like that in a while." They were swinging. Oh, girl fights I mean, are intense. I've seen them since high school. Yeah, I've oh, seen girl fights. Well, I see them on World Star all the time. Oh, I'm yeah, such yeah, a fan. Yeah. But I like World Star <laughs> because it's black girls, so they have the wigs. So when they go to oh, grab the hair, right off. Dude, rip these it right were white off, girls. And it's just, it's just these quality. Were, these fight. were these were Florida white girls, and they were they were rough. Damn, rough the night rough. walkers, man! I will deep throat your. It was I, it was so aggressive. <laughs> we were like, I, I, by the way, a little hot. That's what I was saying. I mean, a little, yeah. uh, I, hey, I whoa, mean, Jesus! Like all all the guys were like, I mean, and not a bad looking woman. The rough, guys were like rough, but you know, she she was. So how much? Yeah, yeah. She, <laughs> she had a face like Frankie Edgar. You know what I mean? Yeah. But a nice body, but a nice body. <laughs> Um, yeah, it was, it was a couple fucking, Naple rascals, huh? couple Naple <laughs> rascals. They weren't couple from there. out of town rascals. Yeah. They're not from there. Looking for sugar daddies. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah. a lot of that. Yeah. There's a lot of that. Yeah. That, that all goes on. There. Nah, hey, I don't judge. There's nothing but, Oh, you would have loved it. There, there was the, they had a Porsche display. Really? Yeah, dude. Just all you these Porsches, old Porsches, Porsche display? all that shit. Yeah, I'm they, they, oh, they, yeah. they were looking for old guys. Did they not find them? Yeah. <laughs> hey, I was there with my wife. Fuck off, Frankie. I'm a young man. I got my lids done. And was your when they were fighting? Was your girl like? Oh, by the my way, I'm an God. old, but I am old. I, I, I like you, this is what you realize. You get older at my age. Don't look at girls in their twenties because there's a good chance they're gonna be like, get away from me. You so yeah, you don't you look. Up. But I'm the guy. I'm, I am that guy. This girl w was with my buddy, and she goes, she goes. I go, who's better looking? Joking around. She goes, well, you're the guy who would pay my bills, and he's the guy I'd have sex God with. God bless her. Wow. I was like, that wow. hurts my feelings, but I get it. God bless her. I get it. And then I showed her the video. I and said, she, you. And, and she, she yelled at you, I will deep throat your cock. God, that was so aggressive. <laughs> Only a guy would be like, <clears throat> I'd be like, like hey. ew. Guys are like, I'd be like, wow, that was oh, cool. I'd be like, that is yeah, cool. Was, uh, well. What an aggressive statement. It was so aggressive. And he got beat up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, girl fights are savage. Savage. Oh, they, I mean, even even like when you watch them on the UFC, I feel like girls are just tougher, they're man. Mean. Yeah, so they're, mean. they're mean. They're mean. Oh, so aggressive. Have you been in any street fights since you've been a professional fighter? No, not well. Since I've been in UFC, no. No. Yeah. Have you ever had anybody start shit with you? Mm, not no. since I've been in UFC. No. Not really. It's just not Jersey. Everyone's yeah. Like, oh, it's Frankie. Well, yeah. you're too famous, yeah. you know. I'm always with people, too. Yeah, know? yeah, And other fighters, probably. Yeah, a lot of times. I feel like your boy from Jersey Shore might have more problems, right? Uh, I not, mean. Not anymore. Not does he anymore. still go out or he, no? He does a little bit. I mean, he's, he's half single. I bet he's know? fun to go out with. Half single. Yeah, he, he's, he's, he, uh, he's like, you know, he, he's old. He's like 47, yeah. you know. Wow, um, that's good. 
He's four, yeah, forty seven. He married Jenny late, late, late in his career. His kids at forty, so oh. he lived like a single life till he was like forty. So yeah, right. I, wrote it hard. Yeah. I ran it. I wrote it. Yeah. I ran it hard. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> She's pretty. Yeah, a lot of those those kids off Jersey Shore make serious money. Yeah, oh yeah. Snow still TV has right. like nine books. Look at Frankie. Is that your wife? <laughs> yes, my wife. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. What, 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 was that Halloween? This was a ho Halloween. Yeah, back. Well, he's in, like, no, it's just a Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, You've yeah, been yeah. married a long time, right, Frank? <laughs> I've been married <laughs> since two thousand eight. Damn, bro. Yeah, Good yeah, job. Yeah, that's impressive. A hot second. Hot second is right. And would you hang out with any of the other Jersey Shore members? Or? Um, I know the situation. He a little bit. Uh Snooky, we know some they 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 uh they have a house down the shore, so we're running to them. Her husband wrestled. Oh he did? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you guys uh you guys look interesting there. Yeah. <laughs> at, uh, some, some I don't know, some Halloween party in Vegas <laughs> actually, I think it was. That's fucking and you guys were gangsters. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> well, He's doing the damn there it thing. is, folks. All right, Jim, what do you got? All right, not that crazy stuff. <coughs> Bless you. Excuse me. Bless, Bless you. you. I can't get over it. I will deep throat your cop to another lady. <laughs> it was unbelievable. By the way, it's okay. 10 p.m. here, PST. So late. Thank you so much, Frankie, for coming out. No, no yeah, problem, doing this, man. man. Seriously. This is fun. Uh, so there's a studio, a tattoo studio, that's offering to remove Kanye West tattoos from people for free, right? And it costs. It can cost up to like thirty eight hundred bucks or four thousand dollars. Yeah, it hurts worse than getting tattoos. It's probably yeah, and it know. takes a lot of sessions. What did right. they say? Yeah, so multiple sessions. Ten yeah. to twelve sessions. Yeah, it's not like in the skin has to heal, so it takes forever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they're doing it for free. But also, if you got a Kanye West tattoo on your arm, just stick with it. Yeah, right? yeah, right. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, you got it for a reason, so stick with it. Yeah, whatever. but like I was saying, like, like it's just like, tough, right? You, like you've got a Kevin Spacey tattoo. But. Yeah, well, no, it's not the same. <laughs> But it's not the same. It's like it is I, weird like, if you did. If you're gonna say Hitler, there were good things about Hitler. It's like, look, if I'm a good golfer, but I fuck goats, you're not gonna really talk about my golf. You're gonna talk about the fact <laughs> that might be true. Actually. Really, a Tiger Woods? <laughs> Very good. Fuck. Well, that's like Bill Burr's joke. He's like, look, if Michael Jackson had sex with kids, we still have to come to terms with the fact that he wrote Thriller. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, he says some slappers. <laughs> yeah. So but I, why, but why do people hang on every word this guy says? Like he's obviously yeah. Don't give him a yeah, platform. He's mentally, he's yeah. Mentally yeah. not there. He's wearing, wrong he's, wearing, he's wearing. He's wearing. He's, he's, wearing, he's yeah. covering his entire face. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, and I've well, shown my wife. She's like, that's not him. I'm like, what do you mean that's not him? Yeah. His his problem too. It's like if he would have said Hitler did some good things. Obviously, Hitler did atrocious things. But if he shouldn't have done the anti-Semitic thing and then said Hitler's done good things. You, you can't do that. But if he was just a normal dude and said, you know, Hitler, uh, you know, the Autobahn, he came up with highways. He, came, he didn't, he, but I mean, he, I know he, what you mean. They give him credit for it. Like, he has a lot of things, like, with his inventions, a lot of stuff that he did. But yeah, yeah. So that's all he's referring to. But it's like, hey, dumbass, you know, you can't be anti-Semitic and then highlight Hitler, correct? Well, look, yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, <laughs> yeah. There are a lot of reasons. It's complicated. When you kill six million people, you're... Yeah. You're, oh yeah, it's right upon and actually more than, more that. than that. And started a world yeah. war. And the and the all the Russians had died in war. Yeah, he's the devil. Yeah, he's the worst yeah. of the you worst. You don't get. Yeah. They, 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 I don't think it gets worse than. It's not like when you say you, they, they, nobody has ever said. Well, he's actually worse than Hitler. Is he? How many people? You've never he? heard that. Yeah. No. Yeah. Stalin. Stalin was no. Stalin was not a nice guy. Terrible. Anyway, what else yeah. you got, Jen? All right. So um, I saw this on Rogan's IG. That San Francisco, they voted to allow police to use deadly force with robots. Right? They, they can't stop you from stealing from <laughs> Rite Aid, though. Right? That sucks yeah. so bad. Yeah, also, right. so that's the so robot? True. Huh? That no, no, school that, that's, like a, that's like a stock photo, probably. But they're, they're saying like they could use deadly force with a robot instead of having to be there personally to shoot. We already do with drones. Them. Yeah, we do. Or no, But we, at least drones is man controlled. Like but these are, these are, are the same. They're, Look, but, they're gonna have uh, first of all that's what boston dynamics is about you've seen that mechanical dog right yeah they're gonna have it that looks shit. crazy yeah. it can get anywhere it wants flipping and you've seen that yeah it looked crazy yeah. have you guys seen robocop 
They, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you ever seen <laughs> iRobot? But the robot, have you seen the robot? Have you seen the, the robot that can dance? Yeah. Have you seen that yeah, motherfucker? I mean, yeah. It kind of looks fake too sometimes. I, I, yeah, I've heard real. some of that's fake. Yeah. yeah. But CGI, then also, right? hey, yeah. San Francisco. Yeah. Just worry about picking up the human shit on the floor uh, instead of these robots with crime. <clears throat> like, get tougher on crime so people just don't have a free for all mm -hmm. up there. It is interesting, wow. though. Like a robot. The members of the board that. voted eight to three in support of the policy, which will need to pass another vote by the board on December 6th. I'm really Wouldn't surprised the board did. So, it voted yeah, eight to three. Be, there'll probably be too much pushback. Right? Oh, that robot fucks up yeah. like one dog, some kid, like yeah. it spazzes out and just shoots right. everybody. Well, that, that, that board, uh, from, from what I understand, from people who live there and are in law enforcement, that board doesn't even have a Democrat on it. They, they're they all socialists and communists. Mm. And it's very interesting to me that they would want enforcement by a robot. <laughs> There's something anti human about that. Well, yeah. robot doesn't see color, Brian. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but there's somebody who has to be operating the robot, doesn't yeah. so. That's an Asian fella. Facial, <laughs> with facial recognition. What did you say? That's probably going to be an Asian fella. <laughs> Right, robot. I'm not even responding to that. Because <laughs> if I didn't speaking, it, I think what Brendan's saying is, yeah. if we have hey Kanye, it, it's late. Hey yeah, hey, Kanye. Kanye. <laughs> it's late. I will deep throat your dick. <laughs> <laughs> God, God, what a threat! Like, well, classic. I bet classic. you can. I doubt you can. Can you prove it? Right. Then, then her man's like, I guess I'll do this. I mean. <laughs> I'd be like, just let her let her get back at me. It's fine. I'd be like, yeah. I'd be like, baby, believe this shit. I mean, let's see it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember a co-pilot that was uh, su suddenly somehow exited the plane and died? No, I don't remember this. You don't, so, so he jumped out of the plane. That's okay. So that was a assumption before they had no idea he was murdered. No, so there was an investigation that happened. Apparently, he got sick, and then he wanted to like get to the back area of the plane and there's a plane where parachute jumpers mm. go off okay. right so there's a ramp it's open so apparently he probably like walked out and just got sucked out of the plane well, that's turbulence yeah that's he probably bitch. just wasn't feeling good and was like you know what man let me uh just get some fresh air yeah he actually threw up okay in the, i'm gonna throw in wow. the cockpit he threw up in the cockpit but he he walked outside and then Sucked, got sucked out. The toxicology report showed that kid? Crooks yeah. was tested for amphetamines, cocaine, yeah, and nothing, opioids. Nothing oh, he was suspicious. fine. Yeah. He just walked out of the back of the plane. And got wow. sucked out because of turbulence and, you know, the suction. Oh, what an awful. And that, that death is. That's got to be the worst. Dude. Oh, you're just falling. Dude, it. that's got to be the worst. So this guy or one of the worst. Not. Just die. You think you fall, you die when you fall? Or you think like you. Like on the way down. Uh, that's a very fucking good question. Well, because they said the people that I believe you st you're alive the whole time. Well, they right? said the people yeah. in 9/11. Uh, I don't know how they can confirm this, but you remember when people are so hot, mm. they were like either Jump, burned alive or jumped. They said this, a lot yeah. of people that jump, their body, some mechanism in your body shut everything down, so they were dead. They like they were not conscious. When yeah, they I mean, I'd imagine you know you're gonna. It, it, I mean, fuck. I mean, oh, you know it's not gonna end well, but. There are better ways to die. I got buddies that skydive. They say, you know, you do powers, you people bounce. Like, you've oh, bounce you bounce off the that's ground. Right. Jesus Christ. Yes, yeah. I've heard that. Yeah. Damn. Uh, that's why I don't... Uh, do have you skydive? I skydived when I was 17. I used a fake ID to go. Jesus Christ. Yeah. And I, I did it, didn't do a tandem either. I took a class and did it myself. Did you really? That's insane. I was fucking bent nice. nine when I was a yeah. kid. Oh, I would yeah. never do it. And I'm too big to do it, so I can't have like the guy on my back. I would have to learn. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. not doing that. Yeah, you got to be under <laughs> 250, right? Yeah, I think yeah. The, I think it's 245, no, which I'm probably much. five pounds over that. <laughs> you just have some big dude or some. That was my thing. Back. I think when I was like, I don't know if this guy's having a bad day. We just want to take me with him. You know, uh, yeah. exactly. Well, yeah, yeah. I, feel. I feel that way. Yeah. I feel that way. Want to yeah. jump on fucking Spirit Airlines Southwest? So like, these guys hating. But us. dude, I went. I was pretty good. So I went with my with my coach, my wrestling coach. He was probably. 29 i was 17 and he has like over a thousand jumps we went down to the drop zone he was staying the whole day and um he, we were staying that night on tent and shit and i took the whole class with a bunch of adults and i look like i'm 17 i look like i'm fucking 15 probably yeah and uh, they think i'm 20 something years old because of my id so at, at the end of the class we're about to jump they said the wind's too high you can't jump today so we could either do tandem or you wait tomorrow. And I'm like, well, I fucking took six hour class. I'm like, I'm here. I'll be, wait till tomorrow. So everyone else, they were they weren't staying, so they jumped. And all these older people were like, dude, you should, maybe you should just do a tandem, do a tandem. I'm like, fuck that. <laughs> so then that night we went out. We go to some bar with these guys, and uh, 
I'm with my buddy Steve, my coach, and they all just were, were drinking, getting, you know, tuned up and eating. And he goes to the bathroom. They're all jumping in the car. Like, come on, let's go. We're leaving. I'm like, what the fuck? So we end up back in the drop zone. They left Steve there playing a joke on him. And I'm sitting in a uh, Winnebago with a bunch of hippies, you know, and they're fucking passing the ball around. They're like, why drink and drive when you could smoke and fly? <laughs> I'm like, my <"Mom>, God. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, man. I got up the next morning and jumped out the plane. It was and you did, you yeah. did it without yeah. Dan? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hell no. Yeah. And did you love it? I mean, it was cool. It was cool. I, I met, you, you had like piping on your suit. It's like when I jumped out, the guys are they're, like, they're essentially taking your first course, you know, yeah. first test. Yeah. So these guys are kind of holding on to me. They're jumping with me. Yeah. They all jump out at the same Just time. Sure like and he's giving me like the hand signals to like, you know, I'm checking my altimeter, check this, check that. And then my buddy comes coming up with the camera and he's like, ah, you know, I'm just like, fucking like, ah. And he's hitting me with the pull sign and I wasn't even paying attention. He takes my hand, just pulls, pulls the thing. Oh, oh shit. And I'm like, holy shit. But you know what you're really, it, it's not jumping. It's, you got to fly the parachute after. Yeah, you do. Yeah. yeah you can't just me. fall down. Did you, you have like, the radio? Was you talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, the radio. Yeah. You need that. Have you you've done it? Yeah. I have no desire to do it. I got <laughs> so scared. scared. <laughs> I was scared. Man. It's like pros, cons. Pros, I guess I get a good I'm idea. with you, Brad. Yeah, it was scared. Drop cons. You know I mean? No, I mean, I'm, I don't need it. Yeah, I'm good now. I'm good. I did it. I did it. And I'm good. Yeah, I'm out. Fuck off. I don't need that shit. All right. What else you got, Jen? All right, hold on. <laughs> Let's see some of Mark's stuff. <clears throat> all right, Marcus. Uh, all right, this is a continuing conversation from things that we've talked about, but you know, as more research happens, smartphone addiction linked with lower cognitive abilities, less self-control, and worse psychological well-being. Barely has any likes. <laughs> <laughs> People Lame. on social media are like, gay, keep scrolling. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it's a hard message. As I post this from my smartphone, look, these devices are not going away. If anything, yeah. they're becoming more ingrained in our day-to-day. -day. So how do we guard against these detrimental consequences for ourselves and our kids? I have some ideas, but would like to hear yours. Help and fire message. Like this post. Not too many likes, uh, comments. Uh, share on your story. I mean, what do you want me to do? And everyone's going to look at it on their phone. So just add some. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure this out. The way we figured TV out. The way we figured everything out. Think so? I don't know. I, I think thought, human beings like adapt. Like <laughs> this is Brian. They'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, we'll figure it out. Oh, no. no. You got a problem. Hunter Dude. accidentally shot dead by his own oh, dog after oh, Pet dude, stepped wait. on the trigger of the loaded Fuck, shotgun. Bro. Wow. <laughs> Damn it, Yeah, so I sucks. guess. Okay. <laughs> wow. Now I, I have no I don't energy. like to do too much dark stuff. But That's so the dogs, bad. yeah, they, they go hunting. He lays his rifle down at the bed of the truck, apparently, and the dog must have stepped on the trigger of the gun and shot him, Poor and his, his buddies rushed him to the hospital. What a horrible that way to go. That sucks, man. Late. That's depressing. It does. I mean, that's some. I mean, I don't know. You think the dog knows? It's a great oh, no. dog. <laughs> I don't think the dog knows. You know what kind of dog, dog. that is, anybody? But, I mean, that's like a bad uh, what? like no. gun etiquette. No, leave your fucking gun yeah, on the ground, have yes, a dog jumping around, yes, you know? Yeah, but to his defense, you don't assume your dog's going to pull the trigger. You don't assume kind of, your dog's yeah, going to try to knows what kind of dog that is. I don't know. English setter. Is it? Yeah. No, I know what it is. It's a murderer, Brian. <laughs> all right it's a murdering fucking dog <laughs> and they should kill it fuck dude it's, it's late so depressing you <laughs> that sucks. why'd you poke my dick <laughs> Look out of yeah. my face man I will Sorry, deep throw. Oh. <laughs> all right evan rachel was girlfriend Il ilma gore denies coercing women to accuse Marilyn Manson of assault so i don't know if you guys have been paying attention to this but it's one of these things after the amber heard joined up trial where she releases this big documentary accusing Marilyn Manson of all these different things. And uh, as Marilyn Manson has finally filed this extensive lawsuit. Because he's been pretty mum on it. He hasn't done Yeah, much. he got it all together and then released, you know, like filed this lawsuit. And it looks like this woman, Ilma Gore, like I've been reading more about her. And, Is that her on the right? No, that's, no, that's, that's Evan Rachel, Rachel Wood. Wood. Yeah. Yeah. But good for her. she's. <laughs> good for her. Hey, good something. for her, bad for him, right? Look at that picture. There's yeah, some uh, she's a interesting points to it where they, they go, she's recruiting girls to like, you know, possibly have, coercively, have not just like girls come to you. It's like, go out and find girls who so may have she was any finding interaction. Girls for him? That's one element of it. Like, or finding girls to testify or say, oh yeah, I'll say that he did X, Y, Z. Like, right, oh, right. maybe you went on mm -hmm. one date with him, say this, yeah. you know, to make it seem worse and build yep. the case. Yeah. The discovery. Uh, she's like, he was really into Satan. It's like, 
Yeah, uh, no it's shit. Marilyn Manson. <laughs> I mean, I've heard things like about her. Pibble, you know? but like this thing, right? So, yeah, so it's, it's some interesting not, things are coming out because look, if you watch the documentary, it's like, oh, obviously he's guilt. Like they made it seem so clear did. cut. Of yeah, they did. yeah. Um, but she's uh, also look at him. Yeah, he's a vampire. And Ilma Gore just seems like one of these people. Like she'll get a hold of somebody like Evan Rachel Wood and like plant it in her mind. And I guess she kind of has a history of scamming people. This um, Ilma Gore woman oh, I've wow. been reading about. What, yeah. what, what, what movie is she from? Where do I know her from? Evan she Rachel was in Wood. Westworld. No, I never yeah, yeah Westworld. Yeah, she yeah, was in yeah. uh, but across if, yeah, number the universe. Of yeah. Go to her. Uh, I, I know somebody who, who uh, worked with her. Yeah? yeah. What'd she say? Or what'd they say? Hey, I got stories. <laughs> but I'll keep it to myself. Was she in like Black Mirror? Where do I know her from, Tin? She's a hell of an actress. Oh, True Blood. Oh, True Blood. She's a hell of an actress. What was she know, in True Blood, what, though? Was she in True Blood? Do you want to do IMDb? Oh, look, activist, actress, actress, activist. Okay, that's just like a... Yeah. Yeah. Where am I thinking? Oh, but I've seen her recently. What have I seen? Frozen, Frozen? 2? No, Voice? I don't see her. She's had a good career. Hmm. But, Keep uh, going down, Jen. I'm trying to think where I know her from. No, I don't know any of these. Robot chicken? I guess True Blood. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, Brian, to your point, somebody was kind of saying online, <laughs> somebody who has an expertise in this kind of stuff, that her dad seems to have NPD. Uh, she was possibly molested as a child. Like, this is speculation, but she's like, she behaves consistently with these things and kind of laid out this theory for, like, how people deal with the shame of sex after a relationship you know, with Marilyn Manson. Yeah, they or, they're, like, or they're manipulative bad people who are about themselves. I'm not saying that's the case, but I do know yes. I have heard things yeah. from what I think, what I consider reliable sources, but I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to go into it because um, it just doesn't matter. Yeah. But, but either way, I think when I see that stuff, I'm always, I do have skeptical hippo eyes a little Especially bit. Especially when people frame themselves as not having any agency. It's like this years long relationship. And it's like, so yeah. you took no part in this? Like no, he was just you were this master mind controlling everything? Yeah. yeah, that's right. And that's a, that woman is tough chick. You know, she's a. Right. And right. Marilyn Manson, too, he's kind of quiet on the whole thing. You're like, man, what's going on? You just see all these things keep happening. You're like, what is he saying? Well, you can't things? do anything. Well, no, he was waiting, building the case. And he launched something. I forget what exactly he did, but him and yeah. his uh, defense team launched something, and it's going to get pretty dicey for Oh, really? Her. And then also, yeah. people don't, I, I'm, I don't know if the majority he, of the audience you know? He's also legit genius. Like, he's like, he's yes, like, he is. Oh, he's yeah. fucking smart as also, shit. He's a genius? Yes. yes. Uh -huh. Legit genius. He's, yeah. He's a legit genius. But, 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 uh, and uh, uh, I'll uh, help you out with the rumor mill. There are a lot of people thought he was the best friend from Wonder Years, and he's not. <laughs> there you go. That was the <laughs> urban myth. So many rumors. Well, it's, so, it's, so now he is, he is saying that she. Got this one scam artist. That's simply one of oh, many he. accusations where he's like, they they tried to hack into my phone to like send text messages like from my phone or account so like they could see these uh, wow. messages between Emma Gore and e e Evan Rachel Wood like basically conspiring behind the scenes in wow. a sense to frame him. There's all these different charges. Defamation is only one of them because they wanted to make it like anti slap proof so it wouldn't get thrown. Oh, out yeah, from, well that's like, the, so. So just know. so you know, if you try to sue somebody for making an allegation about you it won't even in california it won't go anywhere it's called a slap motion it's yeah. like they're just telling their story you can't sue somebody for telling it's the yeah. first amendment which i actually agree with mm. ultimately mm. you know you have to kind of agree with that but you're not able to you, it'll cost you and then what happens is if you sue somebody for making an allegation against you or a bunch of people yeah the the you when when you get hit with the slap motion and the judge throws it out, you're paying their legal fees. L lawyer fees. So yeah. I hope you have a million dollars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, they designed it with that in mind. There's a number of different accusations, like that Ilma Gore like swatted Marilyn Manson's house. And wow, I was watching this lawyer review it. You know, on YouTube, like, oh my god, like there's so many Can things. Can you send in there. that to me? I want to watch. Yes. That. Yeah. Um, yeah. He's an interesting dude. But Look at. Uh, uh, What's his name? Boswick. Uh, I can't remember his name. Oh, Alistair Boswick. Oh, um, no, Verizon Chad? reporter who, who, who dissected oh. the Woody Allen case. And when you watch that shit, dude, you're like, oh, 
fuck, he's not guilty at Woody all. Woody Allen with his stepdaughter? Not guilty at all. I mean, if you look guilty at, of being if, creepy. If you look at that fucking, uh, at, at the actual court records, it's that's why two investigations, they were like, and, and they, they were like, there's nothing here. I mean, it's, it's just creepy. She's the one. Oh, did, did he not marry his stepdaughter? Yeah, creepy. but when he met they her when she was him. old, no, he met her when she was a <laughs> grad student. <laughs> he didn't know her when she was a kid. Not true. He had met her once or something. So he made her his that. stepdaughter when she was a grad student. Yeah, but he was already estranged from his wife. Was... Mm. But like Marilyn Manson, it makes it because of stuff like that, where it's like, oh, he's creepy. Therefore, do we right. also believe that he's a? You know, well, Woody Allen was a right. great director. With Marilyn Manson, it's like he, you know, biting heads off. Look bats at that. And shit. Yeah. Winklevoss twins owed nine hundred million dollars by crypto broker. Wow, Whoa. they're probably never going to see that. Dude, these guys keep taking L's, huh? Yeah, but why is this guy in jail? <laughs> but they he keep gave, balling, huh? <laughs> he gave a billion dollars to Democratic. Uh, yeah, this guy, right? Yeah. Why? Is and he's he not, not in jail. He's not even like no one's talking. No, they're not doing anything. Like, they're they're paying him to speak at, at events. Amazing. This Clapping is a, this is a different. Um, it's not FTX, but a lot of these places, I think, have you know because of the, the price crashes or other things, of ripple effects from the FTX collapse. I guess. That's what it is, but you know it's hard to feel bad for them. Obviously, they Winklevoss is just. I mean, they take some L's. Obviously, they have an issue with their agreements with uh, <laughs> Facebook, but they keep making bang. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They and they and they've had over. Bitcoin for a super long. Like I remember when it first went up to like twenty k or something, they were like worth a billion dollars, like because uh -huh. of that. You know, so it's like you know <laughs> the the Winklevoss twins in. Uh, What's that movie? Ne oh, the network. The network. Yeah, yeah the played network. by Army Hammer. They also are cannibals. No. <laughs> that's the rumor, that's the rumor too. Uh, twins accused of cheating on exam win one point five million dollar lawsuit. Yes, yeah, so this is an interesting one. Like these girls, I guess, were sitting five feet apart. They're identical twins, um, studying at Southern Cal uh, Carolina Medical School, and. They were like taking an exam, sitting four or five feet apart, and uh, uh, a few weeks later, school officials accused them of cheating. It became a whole ordeal. They were freaking out. Um, obviously, they weren't doing that, but it's a it's a weird thing that you have to, you know, fight your way back from. Wait, um, so were they cheating or no? No, they were. I mean, they use that weird twin yeah. power. Oh, I don't trust them, redhead. Too. <laughs> don't trust them, right? They believe they were signaling, like by like nodding in unison or like doing like yeah, certain things that, that like twin little, that little yeah. I'm with the prosecution. I, don't know, bro. I, I, don't, I think you're, I think you're rushing the judge. Yeah, get them out of here. You're being a little superficial. Get them out of here. <laughs> get them. We were just of nodding at questions. That get are out of here, Reds. <laughs> there was no signaling. Oh, you're just nodding at questions. Yeah. Twin telepathy, dude. I told you. But I mean, I, I but that is a thing. Twin oh, telepathy, big time. Kind of like we have. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the cheaters. Yeah. Look at them. Cheaters. And they were like, Look and part them. of his case was like, they have really similar grades. It's like, well, they're twins. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, just a series of uh, behaviors that looked suspicious to the evil villain in this story. So I don't know if you guys have been keeping up with this. I saw a post here that was like, Iran has finally banned the morality yeah, of people, I saw that police, too. you know, but I guess not. Yeah, of course not. Par for the course, authoritarian regimes uh, lying yeah. to the public. <clears throat> uh, we have nothing so, to say. Yeah. It's all late. We're all... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for a few... <laughs> yeah, sorry, everybody. It's kind of quiet here. <laughs> the, the world's midnight. leading for a few right, hours I gotta this past weekend. I'm early. trying to see... What, yeah, Brian has to take a flight in 30 minutes. Uh, oh, let's go then. <laughs> the world, No, yeah. we'll, we'll finish on... Right. We'll just do one more after this. Just but are they, but they're, so, they're saying it's fake news. They spread that this was... So they're still... Yeah, the truth is, Iranian women are still mm. subject to the oppression of a radical theocracy. Yada yada. Wait, I um, got one for us. They're strict. How about man. the three crypto billionaires in their twenties and thirties just fucking wow. died? Yeah, they're dying. Yeah, and one guy goes, "I'm one, afraid one, I'm going to be killed by the Mossad," and then he's dead the next day. And then the younger kid drowns in like a lake or pool. Dude. Had his wallet, keys, everything on him. How interesting! And another guy died in his sleep. I mean, I you know, come on. Oh, yeah. and you think the earth is round. I mean, <laughs> there's some shit going on. But there. I mean, like, what, what, why are they taking them out? Yeah, yeah, because why? people lost a lot of money, and maybe the wrong people lost a lot of money. Gangsters, I don't know, man. It's interesting. But were these people part of the FTX thing? Uh, I don't know. It's just with the demise of it. Yeah. But I mean, that's one why I don't helicopter crashed. So, yeah. One guy died, you know, 
These three gentlemen have the toughest names in the world. Yeah. Stripped of his license in Russia in 2018 for allegedly ripping off investors. Yeah. You fuck with Russians, and th those gangsters are going to fucking kill you. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's not going to be good. Yeah, you're not going to. Stripped of his license, yeah. That's not yeah, good. They'll get, they'll get you. They'll get you. Made that's many on Canada Twitter stuff. conjure up theories. Yeah, I bet. I mean, that's, come on. The three of them just die? Yeah. One dude dies and has all shit on him? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah, because one of the guys died, the one in his sleep, whatever, last week or so, and I brought it up, and it's like, okay, but one person could die randomly, but then if it's three in the middle. Three all in similar business? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's... yeah. So no one finds it weird that not one, but three crypto billionaires died out of nowhere? No, we all find it weird. <laughs> yeah, we know we all do. <laughs> no, nobody's arguing <laughs> with that. I just Someone must really that. hate these crypto billionaires, or they screw them out of a ton of money. <laughs> Whoa, tied in his sleep. And then oh, here it gets this deep cut here. This Twitter follower at delete shitcoin put CIA and the Mossad and PDO elite are running some kind of sex trafficking entrapment blackmail ring out of Puerto Rico oh, and Caribbean God. islands. They're going to frame oh, this is what homeboy said before he died. They're gonna frame me with a laptop oh, wow. planned by my ex girlfriend who was a spy. They will torture me to death and he died. So this is the guy that died. Wow. The next day. Wow. CIA, Mossad, and pedo elite are running some kind of sex trafficking and entrapment blackmail ring out of oh, man. Puerto Rico. Man, and that shit. At, and now after he died, the, the suicide by was, CIA. He put three CIA. possible futures for me: suicide by CIA, CIA brain damage, slave asset, worst nightmare of people who fucked with me up until now. I'm sure these are the only options. I think he might have killed himself. That yeah, sounds like he's yeah, a little he's, crazy, right? He's setting himself up. To yeah. Him. Yeah, it's tough, maybe isn't it? Maybe that dog it? shot him. <laughs> <laughs> you know dog, what, dude? Maybe, maybe the dog killed all three. I can't believe you just said that. I can't that. get over that murderous dog. That is exactly what yeah, happened. Yeah, the dog's killing everybody. <laughs> feel... A Mighty Duck star was a cryptocurrency billionaire? A Mighty Duck's child star? Which one? Uh, Brock Pierce. I don't know who that is, though. They tried to remake Mighty Ducks. CIA and oh, they, they did, though, they? Uh, I mean, no, when I say good. try, it was a fucking shit show. Yeah. Does he look familiar? Um, uh, let's do Mighty Ducks no. and see. This kid, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. cannot. Yeah, I don't think he's like a main. Frank, who's your favorite? Who's your favorite actor besides me? Obviously. <laughs> oh, ah, man, that's tough. Pick just one. <laughs> favorite favorite uh, movie of all time? Hey, man. Rocky. Rocky, the yeah, first one. It's probably yeah, the best. It's the see, best. I, I will movie. deep throat you. Why? Uh, Stupid question, dude. That's aggressive. Favorite favorite I'll ice cream. Hair. I'll pull your hair if you do. <laughs> favorite type of and pizza, Frankie. Frankie. Will break us up. <laughs> uh, Frankie, thanks for coming in. Is that it? That's pretty much. Ryan it. has got right. flight in ten minutes. All right. Yeah. Right. May as well. I can't believe you're flying out there for that. What are you doing? I can't wait though. I, I like I like that guy. He's great. Do a best you know. See how much he eats. Lift weights. Do all kinds of crazy shit. Who's this? Liver King. Out. You gotta fly out there. Are you gonna go? I, I wish it was that with Liver King. King? Uh, no, no, no. Real quick, Roy Lee, what's your stance on Liver King? Oh, nice. I mean, dude, you know, I mean, everybody fucking knew. Look at the guy, right? Yeah, that's what I'm exactly. I don't even know. I don't know what you, you know. guys are talking about. <laughs> <laughs> See, a lot of people would say, you know, you in your heyday, like you can't have a physique that nice and be natural. He's got a nice so, body. A lot of chatter Frank online. Frank Yeager, yeah. Frank Yeager. Oh, there's actually RPRT never. There's actually never chatter about you. Frank and he fucking suck weight. He just show up. Yeah. Hey, uh, um, so Franco, um, any plugs, podcasts, all that stuff? Yeah, Champ and the Tramp. Yeah. Um, Champ and the Tramp. Yeah, come check us out. We're uh, not as good as these guys, but we do all right. <laughs> <laughs> You're a hell of a salesman. <laughs> Frank Yeager, ladies and gentlemen. Frankie, we the love legend. you. The Champ. Always yeah, come on. Thanks for coming in late and doing yeah, this, yeah, dude. We love you, brother. Yeah, appreciate it. We're out. <laughs>